Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. I'm Jimmy Fantastic. Um, I'm playing Jack Bulls the Games Master. I'm a fighter. We've just become level four. Got Sharpshooter to go with my crossbow expert. Very exciting. Uh, Daka is my name and that's it. Hello, I everybody. I am Eliard the Nom, a level three rock gnome cleric. Uh, of level the four. Life. Level four. Oh, 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 level four. Newly, newly level four. Thank newly you, minted. New, newly level four rock gnome cleric uh, of the life domain. Um, over to you, next person. Yeah, I'm uh, uh I'm playing uh, Floral Snarp, uh, a level four goblin. Sorcerer of uh, since I've uh, made a pact with a dragon, um, I am the uh, the best player in the entire history of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. And modest. Wow. Yep. Even even that sent me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm 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 Dimitriov, the Axe Man, uh, fighter. The Axeman? Axeman, Axeman. Oh, oh, Axeman, okay. And I also have my trusty Hancocks. <laughs> um, yeah, level 4 fighter. Uh, I do all the hardcore run in, get beaten up, get saved by these three chaps. And then uh, I've just taken. Taken? Taken? Uh, I don't know, I forgot what it's called. Charge. It's like some charge thing, so I can charge into combat and it gives me bonuses. And uh, yeah, loving DD. Hello! <laughs> Alright, gentlemen. So, <clears throat> very, very nice. Um, as mentioned, the entire party did level up. I'm very excited about that. They are now officially level 4. They are no longer Dungeons & Dragons neophytes. They are professional D&D players now. I no longer have to give them any assistance whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, so quick, uh, quick recap. So, we found ourselves uh, once again down in the uh, down in the catacombs. Uh, last episode was a very combat centric episode where uh, the troop decided to actually take on what would be considered uh, the blood worm or the blood leech for the first time, along with several fanatics and a, a priest who uh, escaped the combat itself, ran off like a coward. Um, as a result of actually seeing the blood leech in, in action for the first time, as a result of finding out the, uh, we'll say the whereabouts of Finches, we, we have no clue, honestly, but seeing what the uh, blood leech did to, uh, to one of Faps's men, we have a pretty good idea of where, where Finches is at this point. Um, they have reached a major threshold in the, in the campaign, which was to kind of figure out or at least lay a basis for what the hell is actually going on out, the, out, out at the Tillich Manor area. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. We know this. Um, we still don't have any answered questions to what happened to, um, to the ant, if she has departed, if she was down here somewhere. We still don't know who, what, or why is behind the cultist and or the blood leech. Um, <clears throat> there's still a lot going on. Daedal has, uh, has some unanswered questions for, for his line. Elliot uh, saw some progression. He he was able to commune with his uh, with his uh, patron there, uh, the um, the chief engineer, and as a result of an amazing um, religion role, uh, was granted uh, similar to the to the to the scene in uh, in the original Clash of the Titans, where Zeus reaches down onto the table and picks Perseus up and and stands him up after he is. Uh, after he is worn by combat, Elliot rose from 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 uh, a state of exhaustion, uh, being granted a long rest in a, in a moment's notice, and then was uh, was granted a small vision of a brooch which he now wears on his which which uh, which breast do you wear it upon your left breast, your right breast, right in the middle, Elliot. Left. On his left breast, and it was a a near flawless um, silver or silvery colored metal uh, wooden stick and or staff with a serpent surrounding it in one means with the serpent facing uh, when you looked at it facing you head on. Uh, Datoquist was able to ascertain that this was an ancient symbol of healing or the healer or to be healed 
or medicine or something along those lines. He wasn't able to ascertain what it was, but we know it has something to do with, with the healing aspects of our world. Um, Jim, I'm sorry, Dimi, uh, Dimitriov also found a sack, a, a small sack with 50 foot of a, um, a uh, silken rope in it that has silverish strands tied all through it, running the length of it. It is near weightless and uh, is just of, of an amazing um, craftsmanship. And he threw that sack over his shoulder, and now we find our party where they're at. Um, as a side note, Daedal is covered in the innards of the blood leech. Uh, has decided to cut one open, jumped inside of there, and was looking around for a pair of goggles, which were ultimately destroyed in the fight. <laughs> he is literally covered head to toe in... I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Nobody can go... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what is it? Uh, Elliot cannot go within, what is it, 10 feet of him, Elliot? Is that what we determined? It's 10 feet. Yeah, Elliot can't go within 10 feet of him. The others haven't even tried yet. So. <laughs> Gentlemen, take it away. Yeah, so uh, we're, uh, we're underground, aren't we, with this... Uh... And little Jimmy's here. Yeah, little Jimmy's with you. I'm sorry. Yep, yep, that's a good point. Little Jimmy did dispatch one of the uh, cultists on his own. <laughs> so we've basically got the option of chasing the priest who exited ages ago. Or, um, or going up the ladders, or going back the way we came. Correct. You gentlemen did find a ladder. Um, you gentlemen did find a ladder. You don't know where it goes. You have very good reasoning of where it may go, but you did find a ladder again. And you would assume it's another 60 feet. You didn't really go up, go down while you were in the caverns very much. There was some up and down undulation, but nothing crazy. Mm. So what do we think? What does anybody want to do? Uh, I think the ladder is calling me. I think it's interesting. Uh, but the problem is Flagel being covered in blood and everything, isn't it? Blood and guts. Yeah. Um. It's even it's in his boots. It's you know when when he opens up his vest and little bits in there. I mean it's I mean he is literally he, he dove in head first, man. This guy was. You've never oh, seen anybody try to go swimming inside of a giant, you know. Eight foot long, four foot around worm. Because I mean, what what time is it now, more or less, Jack Bull in the in the world? You're you're right around midday, noon, one o'clock, as as we would have it. Mm. What, what I want to go up this done? ladder that I found here. You want to go up it, do you, Daedal? Yeah, that's what probably. Do, what, do, what do you think, Nom? Well, I, the, there's something I want to clear up first. I have a, somewhat a sense of guilt. At the end of the last episode, I spoke very poorly to Faps, who has just lost his brother, and, and, and Dimi rightly, Demetrius, Demetriov, shit, rightly admonished me. And so, you know, while, while we're discussing the situation, I, I approach Demetriov and I, and, I, and I say, you know, we've only been acquainted for a, a short while, but we've gone through a lot together. You are my, my brother in arms. Oh. You know, I, I, unlike you, I am no great warrior, and I was, I was stressed beyond my limits. Um, you know, um, in this, in this, in this fight, you know, I saw Omar die before our eyes, and I behaved poorly, and, and I apologize. You were, you were right to admonish me. I turned to uh, the nom, and I looked down and go, "You are a warrior, yet, brother. We were all in this together, and uh, we will." We will march on United, and uh, you, you sure had your hand in what we've achieved so far. Oh, I, I appreciate that, Dimitriov. Thank you. And, and then I, I walk over to the middle of the cabin and retrieve my hat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You. Oh, you, you retrieve my hat. <laughs> as for what? As for our next course of action. Uh, the, the ladder seems to be the most popular opinion, right? I mean, we have little Jimmy with us. Do you not think we should get him back to the manor first, get Flagelsnap cleaned up, <clears throat> and then we could, you know, because he, he invited us back to the manor, didn't he, uh, Faps? We're welcoming the manor now. So when, when Faps departed, yes, what he said is, you're feel free to stop by. You know, he wanted to leave because he had, he had made mention that only him and Omar and Elon were the only of the fighters of his unit. The others are regular um, commoners, if you will, where, you know, that, that, that threw Daedal into a, into a, a rant about, uh, you know, 
commoners and how they're lesser men. But um, but uh, yeah, he he did invite you up into the up into the house, considering what you all just went through. And, uh, if you we, so choose, can we get Dadle cleaned up in the house as well? Like, is, uh... I'm gonna guess he's not gonna let Dadle into the house like that. I mean, he's definitely <laughs> welcome into the house, but. I want you to imagine that somebody just walked up to, uh, we'll say, <laughs> little Alfie and poured, you know, a gallon of horse guts all over him. And you're like, oh, bring him inside. We'll clean him up. Yeah. <laughs> We've got this, this, may be, this may be the episode of the, this may be our prison episode here. <laughs> Is there any... You may need to de-louse him at this point. <laughs> so, so, I, I, I was assuming that the ladder would, go to the mansion it might do i mean do you do you want to have a look at and see what do you want to have a look up there dimitri up and uh well i don't know i like <clears throat> i mean okay so dadle's already signaled his intention to go up the ladder so he is further up the cavern from you gentlemen and you know so he would have the option of getting there before you all okay let's let's go and find out what he's doing well i mean is he going well, that's up to you. So, Data, what are you doing, my friend? I'm sorry, Fargo. Ladder, started. guys. Okay. I mean, seeing as if you got the ladder before you got Flag, if you got the ladder, there's going to be blood and guts on every single rung. So, I'd rather somebody else went up. But is this is this uh, the way to the manor? Is it? I don't know. Potentially, like we're no. underground, and we haven't got like the best yeah. bearings, have we? We've we've gone north a bit and east a bit, so it could be. But, um, yeah, so I want to check what's up here. Yeah, well, do, do you not I'm think... Gonna st I'm gonna stealthily move up the ladder. Do you not think one of us should do so there's not blood and guts on every rung? <laughs> Just quietly. I mean, we, don't, we don't know that. We don't... Well, I'm sorry, we don't know what? That it's a room up there. Upstairs. Okay. Yeah, but gonna... you're covered in blood and guts, right? So if you climb up, then there's gonna be blood and guts on every single rung of the ladder that you touch. Which is going to be disgusting for the rest of us. So I think Eliod or Dimi should. Now you're just being egotistical. I think Eliod or Dimitriov should go up. I think Daka should go up. I mean, I I can't go up. I'm, I'm too. But that one is my curious nature. <laughs> so the thing is, is you have, is that a torch you've got there, Daka? Yeah. All right, and is it going to be dark up the ladder, or is that going to? Gonna take yeah. us to that. So, Steve, we don't know any of that either. I'm gonna stealthily move up the ladder. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not gonna follow him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, I can tell so, you what's up there. Yeah, so, Flargo Strip. So, <clears throat> again, this ladder is secured to the wall. Um, it is not a, um, it is not an ancient or decrepit ladder. It's well cared for. Um, you can see on, you know, every, Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth rung. A new rung has been placed there, um, as if they were repairing it and, and upkeeping this ladder, just like the ladder you descended from the uh, farmhouse. Um, it goes up approximately sixty feet again. You know, same as the last one. Not exactly. You know, you don't have a ruler on you. Um, at the top, you find a very, very sturdy um, wooden door at the top, about the size of a, a good enough for one man to get through. And a big, burly, ugly ass lock on this thing, locked on your side. Did I pick the lock? You can try to pick the lock. I believe you have thieves tools on you, don't you? Yeah. Okay, so you will have to do this at disadvantage because you are you are hanging on to a ladder. There... So if you open your character sheet under inventory, you should have thieves' tools. Do I have like a magical way of opening it? No. All right. Or do you not have thieves' tools? I know you have proficiency in that. I should have thieves' tools as part of the urchin thing. Yeah, I believe you're right. Hold on one sec. Let me pull them over. A disguise kit and thieves' tools. Yep, give me one second. I also have a pet mouse. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> no. Really? No, no. Really? 
<laughs> he was, when he went inside the worm, the, the mouse drowned. <laughs> Should have a pet seagull. I can heal him. Yeah, I want it to be a pet seagull. That's why I wanted the whole uh, summon a... Uh, or have a... What's it called? A familiar? So I could have a familiar mm. seagull. <laughs> yes. Okay, I've added thieves' tools to your um, to your sheet, and because you're proficient in them, they should roll normally as well. But remember, do it at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, so you come you come very close. You can feel it working on the inside. You're only using, you know, one hand most of the time. Sometimes you wrap an elbow around a rung when you need to use, you know, your uh, your weight for the tumbler and things like that, but you don't quite get it open. You can feel it moving. You can feel things. You've got one or two of the teeth to move. Um, I don't get it open at a 15. No. Holy All right, I'm climbing back down and telling the others. So up there, there's a, <clears throat> there's a lock. I tried picking it, um, but it's like it's a very like um, advanced lock. Um, so I, I nearly we'll, we'll got call, it. We'll call it but... we'll call it a modern lock. Definitely a modern. It's not your traditional, you know, single tooth, double toothed key lock it's a there's there's some there's some it's it's a relatively it's not an ancient lock you know, there's another clue in there gentlemen if you will yeah so i tried picking it and i was close but i couldn't quite get it open um obviously it, it was a difficult door with me chest or... yeah it's a, it's to a door um uh, size the, the size of a man like can comfortably move, move through it um but yeah, we can't get through it unless, like, you guys can brute force the door. Um, we're not getting up there. Uh, and also, like, we don't know what's on the other side, so I don't think brute forcing it is such a good idea. So I'm more inclined now of moving after the uh, wizard. Can or we? The, Sorry. the baddie. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. No, no, no. Can we surmise that a key to this door exists then and is perhaps possessed by. Uh one of the cultists um i don't think it'd be um, in the possession of one of the cultists i think i think i remember seeing um faps and um move in this direction um oh. but i'm not sure no so when they, they departed they remember they went back up the tunnel where you guys came down as well yeah all right. Yeah, my bad. Remember? That's why I was so inclined on moving here, because they didn't come from here. Yeah, now you're right. No, yeah, they did not come from this direction, exactly. Well, they appeared in the dark, so they could have come from that way, but they didn't go that way. That's right? true. But we don't know yeah, where they came when... from. Did the worm come from that direction? The second worm? Yeah, it did. did yeah, the... the second worm did come from behind you all, yes. Flagglesnop, could you search the worm for a key? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Am I allowed to? <laughs> Doesn't have any pockets, so it's gonna be, you know. <laughs> yeah, but am I allowed to die back in there? It's not gonna have a key inside. Well, there's nothing else in there, but you get you are more than welcome to die back in. <laughs> Alright. No, that's what I thought. Like, I can't, like, search the same thing multiple times since I didn't find it last time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, otherwise, otherwise people would just go. I'll try again. I'll try again. I'll yeah. try again. <laughs> exactly. Hundred times. Oh, finally, I got it. Um, one of you gentlemen, also on your personal journals, make sure that you note some of the stuff that you took from the worm, because I'm noticing nobody put notes for that. I did actually. I put leech parts, beak, tentacle. Yeah, I did because I didn't see that. Okay. Worm. Clever. Oh, gym. there you go. I didn't see that below your scimitars and all that. Thank you. Clever, Jim. Just so that way, that way I remember what you took as well. Thank you, gents. <laughs> I didn't want anything from the worm. I gave something to someone, I think, that I found in there, but... Mm. Right, should, so, we, should we head back to the manor then? That seems... Just, no, we want to go after the, the baddie. Just a quick one. It's a long um, time that he's gone. But so, we don't know what's down there. Dimitriov, what say you? I 
I'm... It's, something is nagging at me. And... Alright, so we, we, we're here to solve the disappearances for the wizard, right? Mm -hmm. Are we in agreement that the worm is the cause of the disappearances? No, not what? yet, but it, it does seem plausible, but... I mean, I'm assuming... Okay, so let me let let's hearken back for a quick second, gentlemen. So you you all of you, we, we do that we do that little dissolve, right? We come back and we find our, ourselves back in, uh, back in um, Kalon's office with you all. And 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 what he had specifically asked you is, his concerns were that in the past there were a lot of disappearances. Remember, and now that the brothers are back, his concern is that those disappearances may start again. Now, while you're down here, of course, you have verified these guys are hacking somebody up. So either they're hacking up their own people, which is highly unlikely, and tossing them at the worm, or disappearances have truly begun and they're just not being reported yet. Yeah. So yeah. Kalon's task for you was to find out, quote unquote, what the hell is going on out there before it gets out of hand, remember? And his, his quote mm -hmm. exactly, if I, if I remember what I said was, it's better to send you guys than a whole bunch of villagers with torches and pitchforks. So with that in mind, then maybe going after that, uh, the, the guy that escaped is the... Well, I'll tell you what I think the best idea is. Um, Kaelon paid us to come and do a job. We've done the job. We've, uh, Faps has found Finch's He's he's kind of okay with that. I mean, he's not okay with it, but you know what I mean. Like, it's what's done is done, right? Um, he's okay with so, that. <laughs> so why don't why don't we just go back to Kalon the Turd and get our money for investigating, and then get more money to come back <laughs> and get rid of what's happening? <laughs> yeah, but it's quite a long journey. That's the thing. Yeah, I I want to like, and that that's the same thing right now, right? I want to investigate the things that we can see that we haven't investigated yet like there i'm too curious there are two avenues that we can move in to discover new clues i mean the thing is if you're paid to do a job and you do the job are you just gonna go and do like a few days overtime <laughs> that's life or death for fun <laughs> i mean i mean i'm happy I'm just going what's back at, what's what's here like i i want to be able to give as accurate like and and like this goes for for your sake as well like if we can give a more accurate description of like the perils that we're facing then we can demand a higher price for for getting rid of said perils and well, also we've done it and then we might have already done it <laughs> oh, yeah. but... close, close your eye eyes and ears but we could also exaggerate said perils and get even more money. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I think we could have done that anyway without putting ourselves in more danger than that right now. But anyway, if you all get, if you all want to go and chase this guy, I think I don't we want should... to chase this guy. I want to see what where yeah, see he, where he went. went. Yeah, yeah. But I think we should have a short rest first because uh, I'm pretty sure Dmitriev has spent all of his stuff. I spent all of my stuff. So. Um, I'm not against the short short rest here before we move down further in the catacombs. I, th I think if we go there, if we if we go further in the catacombs, we should short rest first. Otherwise, yeah. we should go to the manor. My vote is back to the manor and uh, or, or just back back to Kalon. I want to okay. go. I want to go back there soon, but I want to like know what what is in these tunnels before. I mean, before <clears> I kind of want to have a look, but what what do you think, Nom? I'm with Flagle Snob, to be honest. My intellectual curiosity is is unsatisfied, and I still worry for the the, the health of uh, of Faps and uh, his friend, whose name I've got, and the other workers that are working here. Right? You know, although we seem to have uh, destroyed, you know, Omar. Den of no, Omar is the dead one, right? Uh. <laughs> I'm very worried about Omar's health. <laughs> uh, <laughs> although we have destroyed a couple of dens of cultists now. Who knows how many more remain, you know, but in the time it takes us to, to return to, to Kalon and come back, maybe more lives will be claimed. Uh, <laughs> I, I am curious. I would have assumed that the cultists were responsible for the previous disappearances some 10 years ago. 
to feed this worm, but what have they been doing in the intervening period? Like, right? you know, mm. what 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 were they doing during this time? That's a, I'm not sure about that. That's an interesting one. Yeah, also, well, bear in mind, like how how far away walking distance is the manor, please? So how far? What do you mean? How far is the walking distance? I don't. From here to the manor, how like? So how... if you went from here to the manor, how fast could you get there? Yeah. Probably ten minutes or so. I mean, well, yeah, maybe ten, fifteen max, because you're gonna want to take, you're gonna want to be cautious moving out of here, right? Right. Then I you're gonna get up to the farmhouse, and the farmhouse is just a few thousand yeah. feet up to the uh, up to the manor itself. So maybe half an hour, we could drop little Jimmy right. off at the manor, I thought, right? I thought, I thought we were like. Uh, two, three hours at least away from the manor. Then I'm no, not no, no. You guys... to going back to the manor and then coming back. Yeah, yeah. Um, Go back to the manor, drop off little Jimmy, have a short rest, and yeah. then come but, back. I mean, do you think Jimmy's going to be safe at the manor? Right. Yeah, that's true. He's got four badasses here, and there's only there's only Faps and his mate, who's who are warriors in the manor. I do like returning to the manor. Uh, yeah, we can rest, like you say. We can have have some dinner. <laughs> but then, yeah, we can decide whether or not to take Jimmy with us. At that yeah, point, let's keep Jimmy in the unknown. Because, <laughs> yeah, the manor isn't necessarily safe, it's true. I Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to leave Jimmy at this point. But mm. Let's, to the let's manor, go. Then. Let's to the manor, to the manor. Let's go. And to the manor. Okay, so it's a very uneventful walk back um <laughs> thank you Elliot. It's, God, I'm it's so a very jealous. uneventful walk back to uh to the um you take your time you get back to the uh to the the uh ladder shaft climb said ladder you take your time going out again uh, taking into effect the last time you went up the ladder you were ambushed you find nothing up there um you're back outside of that farmhouse is there anything you want to do while you're there? At the farmhouse? We can check on the prisoners. We could check on the prisoners, couldn't we? Oh. I forgot about the prisoners. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we could we could check on the prisoners. We haven't I been away long anyway, have we? I definitely want to check on the prisoners. <laughs> okay, you guys should all be back at the uh, at the farmhouse. Or, I'm sorry, at the uh, surrounding area and be able to see it as well. It may, may take a few seconds to load in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, we left them, I think, in here, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You, you, I, I think that was the one where you guys had decided to. So you go inside, and um, they're still there tied up, but there is a single we'll call him a, a manservant wait, wait we we put them in bags in potato sacks <laughs> kneeling i mean you guys i mean you guys did everything you possibly could to make sure the dm couldn't do anything with these guys yeah, right yeah, yeah so you find one of the manservants though watching over them they have their gags out of their mouth um, but the, and they're they're not saying anything. They don't look like they've been roughed up. But there is somebody watching over them. He's got a single dagger. It's kind of on his hip, and he's at the windows of the room you left them in. They're both back in the same room. They're not in a closet anymore. You guys separated them in closets. Um, and he's at the window, kind of watching out the window to see what's happening at the manor. Peeks back at them, watches out the window. You know, he's he's effectively standing guard and doing it in a very very solid way. He but sees he's, you he's all approaching. Out of the potato sacks. No, no, no. He just, they moved them. Basically, somebody dragged them together. They're still, okay. okay. So just for Dadle's edification, <laughs> they are in potato sacks. They are kneeling. They are they are bound behind their back with, knee, let me see, with, with ankles to wrists. They are also tied at the top of the potato sack around their necks. <laughs> However, they don't have their gags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my> good. <laughs> you gotta secure your prisoners. That's all you. <laughs> That's I love how Elliot hard. Elliot won't uh, won't won't let anybody kill a, a, a sleeping guy, but man, he'll let you tie the living hell out of somebody into the worst possible yeah. position. Yeah, this is pretty I good. Mean, I mean, we can take them back with us to to Kalon, right? Like that would be good to bring them back to Kalon. So I think it's yep, good. So that we keep um, these and around. and he sees you, you know, walking up, walking over. 
um, and then immediately greets you as you walk in the room. He does not leave the room to come down to see you. He, he knows you're coming up, but he's waiting for you. He's doing a good job of guarding these two guys. Do, right. do we know this person? No, he's just one of the... You've seen him when he was up at the manor. Um, he is one of the manservants. He's in the uh, he's in the livery. He's dressed appropriately for you know the blues and the golds. Mm. He is not. Um, it is not. Oh, is it? Was it Elon died? Right. It's not Omar. No, Omar died. Elon. Was it Omar who died? Yeah, okay, it's Elon not Elon. Man, I wish I was as funny as Bob Mortimer. Yeah, you know? <laughs> he just he just comes up with names for people like Top Heavy Jeff and stuff or like <laughs> just instantly. It's incredible. But um, right, it's, it's just a dude though. Okay, well we can leave him here and then go to the manor. Good right, job. What? What? Sorry, you first, W. Oh, no, I was just say hello, hello, friend. Do you mind continuing to guard these prisoners while we go and have a nap? <laughs> Yep, my lord Faps has asked me to take care of this. This is my duty until he returns. Have they said anything? They've said nothing, and if they said anything, they'll get a swift backhand. Yeah, good. Uh, do you want to gag them again? <laughs> I'm okay if you gag them again. No, Faps has asked that they at least be allowed to breathe. All right. They're not going to harm anybody, not here. And I'll tell you what, and he, and he turns to them, he's... And if any of them tries to move at all, they're going to get this swift dirk right in the throat. Sounds Ooh. good. I trust you. You seem like a good, good lad. Well, thank you, small green one who smells rough. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, he does not. In, 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 I mean, they, they know what's going on, right? Faps has filled them all in. I'm sure they all know that Finches is dead. I'm sure they know... There will be eyes. I'm sure he's just as much watching that farmhouse and that entrance to the, the tunnels below as he is the prisoners. Uh, do we have, like, any water source uh, out here that, like, they could heap over me to wash away the worst of the innards of the worm? He does tell you that there is a, a small creek, small creek to the uh, to the west of the of the farmhouses. Um, it is not too far in and amongst the trees. Um, that's okay. where they've been collecting their fresh water daily, and there's there's been there's been no activity out there at all. Okay. But he does say, though I would not go alone now, considering what the hell's been going on here. And he points his dirk again at the uh, at the two cultists. Nah, cheers. Guys, do you want to accompany me to the creek so I can just wash away the worst of the this yeah. disgusting mess uh, yeah, we'll before we you. enter the... Cheers. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so you guys walk over to the waterway. It's nothing major, right? It's, um, again, it's just a smaller creek. There's areas, uh, you know, three feet wide, five feet wide. It's a brook. It's moving, you know, slightly downhill. Um, you do manage to wash a lot of it off. You... You, in fact, why don't you just, so this is a good example. So Data, why don't you, and, and, and I don't want this to get too crazy, but why don't you describe what you look like in your loincloth now that they're seeing you for the first time with, <laughs> don't do it, Elliot. Now that they're seeing you, right, and what's going on with your body as a result of what, what what's transitioned. Yeah, so I, I'm, I take off my, uh, my robe. Um, it's, it's basically like, it's a hooded robe, right? Uh, and I've, it's tied around my stomach with a with a simple rope, um, so I just unhook it that and take off the robe. And underwear underneath, I had like a, a light linen shirt and uh, um, some light uh, linen shorts. Uh, but like you can see uh, that my arms are covered in uh, these green um, green scales. Uh, and the same goes for my legs. Um, you obviously can't see my shoulders, but you can see that it sticks out a little bit. Like not the contours of the shirt aren't uh, as you'd expect them to be, but rather like there seems to be like scaling underneath the the linen shirt um, and the shorts as well. And, Elliot, uh, give me, um, Elliot. You've, you've, um, you're a man it's of simple uh, brown, uh, like un, unspectacular clothing. Uh, 
worn from wear. Elliot, give me a perception check, please. You're a learned man. You've got your PhD. In fact, you've got a double PhD. Not in scales. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't pick him up before he rolls, Jack. <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> don't pick him up before he rolls. <laughs> Nothing out of ordinary to Elliot. Yeah, <laughs> this is, what, this is what goblins look like. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a half fish goblin. <laughs> No, this is what all goblins look like. I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, so I just washed my uh, clothing in the stream. Um, trying to scrub the worst off and then uh, put it back on. Did you see that, Elliot? Okay, so you wash, you you managed to get a great majority of it out. It's stained a little bit, your robes. You will have to get replacement robes. Um, you will have to get replacement boots. You know, things like that, your common stuff. Um, there's hope for some of your other items, because you can clean off your daggers. You can clean off your crossbow, things. Your, your more firm items. But some of your... your robes and such it's absorbed into it the stench is pretty well gone you've washed it out of it um but they're still stained i mean it's not you're not uh yeah. you, you definitely look a little bit more street urchin -y today than you than you have in a long time yeah that's fine i don't care about how i look really all right on to the mansion then glorious let's go All right, so as you're walking up to the mansion, if you're, as you're walking up to the manor, I'll sh I should say, um, there is a guard posted outside, and I use the term guard loosely. It's a, um, it's another one of his manservants, and they are watching intently um, towards the farmhouse that you emerged from, and the, um, and the farmhouse, even though it's kind of through the trees and around the trees, um, that the other manservant is is watching the two cultists in. So the, again, they have another set of eyes up here kind of watching that way. He sees you coming from a great distance away, gives you an open hand as you, uh, as you approach a welcoming open hand, not a stop. <laughs> um, again, it's obvious that Faps has kind of filled him in on what's going on. Greetings, uh, friend. Greetings. Gentlemen. We have uh, been invited um, to take a uh, rest here. If, if we are tired and we would like some rest, if that's possible. Yep, Faps is just inside. Uh, my lord is just inside and to the left in his office right now. He's uh, he's bade me that if the green one bathed, you are uh, granted uh, <laughs> granted acceptance into the home. I'm inside and to the left, please. Don't dally once you get inside. It, it's as clean as he gets, brother. <laughs> Cheers, mate. We head into the mansion. Okay, so inside, it's 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 a nice place, right? We talked about this. It's not like crazy beautiful, but it's a nice place. It's well kept. There's fresh coats of paint on the outside, um, furniture on the inside, in in areas uh, that are covered with, um, um, in some cases, drop cloths for painting. Um, Candles are going up into uh, chandeliers above, things like that. Um, the foyer is 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 very well appointed with different pieces of artwork. For the first time, um, you see a um, a picture of the lady of the manor before she left, and she was a quite striking woman. She was quite beautiful. Um, you would guess that this painting was painted when she was in her 30s or 40s. Um, she was much older, obviously, while she was here and when she disappeared. Um, the blues, the traditional blues and golds um, of Tillich, of the family Tillich, are, are adorned ap across her. Um, she's holding in front of her, which is quite unique. You don't really know what to make of it. She's got a small silver mirror that she's holding in her hands in this painting. Um, and this, this mirror is, she's got one hand atop, one hand below, as she takes a pose outside of what must be the manor with, with some of the farmlands and trees behind her. 
Um, she's got a soft smile on her face. Um, there's no other real poignant uh, aspects of the picture itself. Um, but it's 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 a really beautiful painting. It, it really strikes you as something that was well done. It was probably paid paid an artist quite well to uh, to do for her. Um, in your left, a, uh, a single office door is open, and inside you see Faps looking over a desk. Um, he's leaning on the desk, both hands firmly against it, and he seems to be looking over a map. Good afternoon again, friend. How, how fare you following our encounter? Um, Faps looks up immediately. Um, beholds all of you, um, bays you to come inside of his office, and he's and as he's looking down, and as you guys slowly maneuver through the uh, through the door one at a time, um, little Jimmy coming in behind, holding you know, kind of, <laughs> kind of he, his his stride. You can see he's kind of trying to emulate Daka, right? So as Daka kind of has a very lumbering, almost a little bit left to right because he's a large man, right? You see little Jimmy kind of doing the same thing, right? He's like his. His his jaw is firm, and he's just he's 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 looking. He he looks very stern, right? Like he's really trying to impersonate um, um, Daka or emulate Daka would be the better way to put it. And uh, Faps is 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 again looking down over the. He's just. I don't know what to make of it, boys. I don't know what to do here. And he he knocks a couple of times on the desk at the map. And looking down at the map, you see a very well detailed map of the manor and the surrounding areas. Um, it's very, very detailed. And it actually, if, as we zoom out to the, to, the, to the map that I have made, it's got several more farm fields that used to be on this map. It's got more homes that used to be on this map. Um, it's got notations of whom lived there at a given time, such and such family, um, such and such husband, such and such wife, such and such husband and husband, such and such kids, um, major uh, uh, exports. So certain areas focused on carrots, strawberries, turnips, certain areas focused on the raising of livestock, so on and so forth. So this is a map that, that, that was very much from the planning stages of when Tillich Manor was, I would say, quote unquote, its highest time. Faps points a very specific finger at the farmhouse that you all came out of, right? He just, he, 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 he knuckles his finger at it a couple of times. How did that get by us for so long? By, by mm. us, who do, you, who do you mean, Fabs? You, you've only been at the manor for a short time, is that right? How, how long have you been here for? I've looked at every map that we have that we have found, and there is no notation whatsoever. No notation whatsoever of that shaft. And with how detailed, and he points down at the map, and each of you kind of looks down at it. With how detailed this one map is, this is where I would have expected to find it. This has everything from you know, uh, distances to closest water source to number of barrels of water per week to draw per ride. A, a week here is known as a ride per ride for each. I mean, there's notes on here. This is quite literally a roadmap to success. So why is there no notation of the one thing that you would think is the most out of the ordinary? Do, do you know who used to live in that farmhouse? There's notations here of a family. Um, I have not checked our... Um, I have not checked our journals as to when they took possession of said farmhouse, when they left possession of said farmhouse, and why they left. That's on the docket for next. I need to go through. There's several... You can imagine with the number of years that my aunt was here, that and she has detailed journals of every season, from sales to amount of gold coming in, to um, families who had um, children, to new arrivals, everything. So it's de very detailed journals, and I'm going to have to go back through all of those journals to figure out when and where. But yes, rest assured, that is going to happen. I need to know if somebody has set our family up. I need to know if this is more than just a simple case. 
and I use the word simple lightly, a simple case of cultists finding a friggin' tunnel below our beautiful farmlands here. There just has to be more. So do we think the mansion was built on top of this catacombs? Or... I mean, the cat. Yeah. So who, who built the mansion? And when was it built? Do we know? So back back when Lady Laura, back when, when Laura Tillich, my aunt, came, these areas were up for sale as far as from a squatter's perspective. She had to pay very minimal fees to take certain areas. This is back when Victor was much younger, according to our notes. Um, and as a result, she found this beautiful, I don't, a, a meadow doesn't even, doesn't even cover it. It's much too large for that. And just felt that it would be a great, she's got a great experience in farming and just thought that this would be a fantastic place. And from the outset, within two years, it was teeming with just amazing levels of activity. Um, the the manor went up shortly thereafter, sometime within those that probably second year, I would imagine. Once I got, I mean, when she once this started to take off, there would be no reason to leave, right? You would you would knock up the best possible place you could find. It's almost as much of a a badge of honor as it is a, a place to live. So it, it seems to me as though the activities of these cultists have caused the increased <clears throat> fertility in this land so the question is did that occur before well a, a question so his when you say that his eye raises a little bit what what gave you that inclination now you've got to remember he has not been down in the catacombs as much as you gentlemen have so well there, there were blood leeches right and uh, they were chopped up the cultists were chopping up all manner of body parts limbs and heads and bodies strewn all over chunks of meat the soil, the trees, even the animals are, are tinged with redness. Uh, you know, and the, the, the area is supernaturally fertile. It, it, it seems like there must be some link between these two unusual activities. Well, yeah, if you, if you remember that they were cutting parts of the leech off and ingesting it, and they were, like, either healing themselves or making themselves stronger. The, the one thing that doesn't make sense to me, this is the one thing that's puzzling me, because... Obviously, they're using parts of the leech to fertilize the fields. That's my impression, is they're fertilizing the fields with the leech. But then why would the leech harm any of Faps or Finch? Because surely it would be them that would want the fields fertilized. So the minute that both of you utilize the term chopping up individuals and feeding them, you know, Faps... He, he kind of looks at you a little bit, takes a large swallow almost. You know, he's he's thinking about that, right? He, he's obviously hearkening back to what must have happened to Finches and what happened to his man, right? And he doesn't look at you any any differently. He doesn't regard you worse. He just, he's, there's a reaction there. So you're saying this leech has something to do with these farmlands. I mean, it, it, it's obvious this cult has something to do with this, but why... Why one and the other? Yeah, perhaps we're confusing cause and effect, right? Instead of the cultists causing the fertility, maybe the cultists are here because of it. Maybe this is the ideal location for oh, hold on, giant hold on. blood leeches to thrive. Oh, where do the blood leeches go? Maybe they burrow under all the fields, which there increases the fertility. Like, like I mean, the blood leech doesn't just sit there the whole time, does it, in the catacomb? Like, so... This is why I wanted to go further into the catacombs. Okay, so, like, so maybe they're, like... Let's they're... The really, very quickly, gentlemen, let's take a step back out of character. Um, so I have described the image as a blood leech, and that's kind of how I would utilize it, but I, I, would, hark, I would urge you to remember that it's more of, like, a worm shape, right? It doesn't latch on to, like, a leech does. We call it the blood leeches, definitely. But I would, I would, what you have seen, the holes in the, uh, in the dirt above you, um, dirt falling down, the way that the, the leech moves, the blood leech moves, and I say that in air quotes, it does more remind you of a worm than anything else. 
Yeah. And so cultists did refer to it as the worms or the worm. And so, like, it probably burrows like under the whole farm, fertilizing it. So that explains. So maybe the occultists don't want the fields fertilized. That's just a byproduct, right? So. Do you guys think we killed all of them, or do you think there's more than those two down there? More. I, I think there's more, but I mean, <clears throat> there's got to be. Normally, right? There's a mama or a papa, right? There's a. Like so, maybe we've only seen the the offspring. offspring. Yeah, mm. like what if there's a queen worm? The queen, yeah. the queen worm. <laughs> Does anyone know anything about worms? Does anyone twenty-one like... twenty-one feet? <laughs> I think Elliot might have some facts about <laughs> earthworms. They don't have eyes or ears or legs. I mean, I know that. Okay, fact. so let's, let's also think <laughs> about the, the way that the, your research. <laughs> well, no, no. Let's let's also think about what happened when the blood leech. Because I want to hurricane again. This is part of one of the things that I that I think is part of my job as a DM is also to kind of fill in your your remembrances of certain things, right? And if you remember the worm and or the leech, whatever we want to refer to, we'll just call it the leech. The leech went after the freshest blood. If you remember, and then you're hearkening back to that, right? When, when one of the cultists got cut open, that first one went right after him and started consuming him. Yep. Yeah. yeah so they were like summoning the worm, right? They, yes. They were like, we, we found them in the process of summoning the worm. So like, presumably they're, they're, they're just, the cultists are here yeah, because that's of it, the worms. That's it. And the worms presence is what's making everything red and they're yep, just two yep. kind of in unconnected events in a way yeah perhaps the worms are just a natural phenomenon being exploited by the cultists mm. so you're okay so if i'm following you are you saying that the cultists are responsible for how successful this was so then doesn't isn't there a soft dotted line to my aunt well p perhaps well uh, p p uh, who knows perhaps when she arrived this process was already in place or perhaps it began with her arrival you know we we, we none of us were around were we we don't know for sure do we what's interesting Did is the disappearance has stopped at some mm. point didn't they they but stopped the... when the, the when the aunt disappeared yeah but the ground didn't stop being fertile and you know but, but did the cultists stop or like that's we I, i'm bamboozled i'm honestly just bamboo i'm just a is, stupid yeah, i'm is, just a stupid copper i'm way beyond my pay grade right now <laughs> well this is what i was thinking this is what doesn't make sense to me is that it's attacking faps and finch like i would have thought that they would be exempt from the worm but but if, if it was to do with them, you know what I mean? If it was to do with... F from, the, from the body of Finches that we saw, it was, it was clear that he'd been bisected right. We saw that he'd been cut in half. We, we saw that it wasn't the doing of the worm, but of the cultist. Well, you, you mm. didn't see that. Remember, that was out of character. But, but, no, but we saw the body right. <clears throat> no, you saw... Saw, no, you found his, his, um, his tunic. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Okay, remember okay. remember okay. Faps picked up his, um, his family tunic. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And that was torn and or cut from the bottom about halfway up. Now, that probably didn't happen during the scene we saw. It was there, it was covered in blood, and it was torn. So there's, it, clearly Finch's was there. Sure. But we don't know how he died. He may have been eaten by the worm. He might, he might have just been allergic to peanuts. He might have been. I think, like... Or mm. carrots. <laughs> but I, so, I, I still can't get away from the, the soft dotted line to my aunt here, because how does all of this... How We've only been here a couple of months, mm. and Finch's is already gone, and he looks up to the sky, and another man is dead who was with me, Maybe there's and something. Who were the others that they were? Who were? Let's go. Who were the others they were feeding? Those weren't my men. We're not missing anybody else. Maybe the maybe the 
worms are attracted more by your bloodline and the cultists mm, do like... we know if the, if the ground stopped being fertile when the ant left do we know that when... any of us we have not started farming yet. I couldn't tell you if it's fertile or not, but you can see that these these grounds, the grounds are fertile. We know this. Mm. Was it was the grounds red two months ago when you arrived? Were the grounds? Yeah, the, 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 the nothing red. has changed here from the time we've arrived, other than our attempts to repair things like the fences at some of the some of the um, uh, the ranch areas. We've repaired some of the homes as best we can. The ones that are even further, you know, askew will have to bring somebody else to help repair. And we've been working like crazy on the manor. And then, of course, we've been coming in, coming and going from Victor just to make sure that our claim is 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 solid. Dato, check your comms. Mm. Could could a population of cultists mm -hmm. existed th in this place throughout? You know, the last ten years, or since the disappearance has stopped, could they have been sacrificing their own in that time to keep the worms interested? Well, maybe the worms are attached to the bloodline. So, if there's no Tillic, what Tillics, whatever they're called, yeah, the Tillic, it, Tillic family. Yeah, maybe if the Tillics aren't in the manor, there's no worms. So the Tillics come back, the worms come back, which brings the cultists back. But would the worms not have like I don't know followed them or something like? But would where, where and, and where have the worms been in the intervening period then, or just have they arrived through supernatural means? Or maybe they hibernate, or I yeah, don't know. Okay, like, okay, maybe yeah, it's the yeah. arrival that wakes them up, or yeah, that's fair, fair, fair. I'm bamboozled. I'm bamboozled to be fair. Okay. What about you, Flagle Snap? Are you bamboozled? I'm bamboozled. With a smile. The mirror. The mirror. There's something about the mirror. Agreed. <laughs> Check off's <Chekhov's> mirror. <laughs> Check off's mirror. <laughs> Fucking Elliot. <laughs> so that was out of character. <laughs> Jack Bull's mirror. <laughs> oh, God. Um, F Faps, how, how would you? How, what? How are you going to proceed, and, and how would you like us to proceed? I have no clue. I have no clue what I'm going to do. I can't. I can't keep my men here for fear of reprisal. I, I, <laughs> my biggest fear is once night falls, something is going to occur. I can't simply leave. This is my and or my family's responsibility. I've already lost one good man. While me and my other man here are, are, we can defend ourselves, my others, with the exception of holding a dirk to a tied up individual, I wouldn't want to put them, I wouldn't want to put them in a situation where that would cause more death. And he says that very, very, very seriously. Understandable. It's so tough, isn't it? It's so tough. I, I I suggest we need to gather more information. Let's take a rest. Take head down didn't didn't, so didn't Kalon guess, send you it, out here? What is what I, are, what is you? What is what is Kalon's viewpoint on this whole thing? He just wanted information. We we were just we were here taking soil samples, stuff like that. You know, we as far as as far as we knew, there hadn't been any disappearances. Uh, we would just, you know, just see what you guys were about, you know. Didn't think there was any particularly, uh, you know, supernatural causes or anything, potentially. And then, turns out there's a lot of supernatural causes and <laughs> things happening. Well, strictly speaking, I mean, maybe not right. Like, the, the worms, they may be just ordinary bloodworms right and the, the cultists have just chopped it meat up and stuff i mean you know, not ordinary bloodworms i think they're pretty uh pretty not ordinary <laughs> well, extraordinary maybe for the well, plate so, so what where elliot is going here is that it's you know supernatural would intone something very specific right magic yeah magic yeah oh. whereas 
thus far, with the exception of a few spells cast by the cultist priests, there really hasn't been, you know. Well, those Again, giant remember, balls, harken, harken they, back they, to the ceremony that Dato witnessed to a point. He only saw the tail end of it. It didn't right. look like a summoning ceremony, right? It looked like an appeasing ceremony of some kind. Oh, mm. yeah. That, that's, that doesn't fit then, does it? That doesn't mm. fit. We thought they were summoning the worms. They, they Appeasement. They, there were many cultists and only a few small worms. <laughs> were they really trying to appease these worms? They, they, there must be some kind of queen worm. Like the, this can't be. The, and there was the big hole. There was a big hole that was what was it? A dozen feet across or something? Mm. Was it these small worms that have made this hole? I, I don't know. I think there's something bigger than badder going on here, maybe. Mm. Plago. Stop. I want to know where you got that mirror. Where where the ant got the mirror. Yeah. Say again? Are you asking me this? I'm sorry, or are you talking? No, I'm asking the Fabs that. Okay, so what are you going to ask Fabs specifically then? Like, where is Just that? Like, from? I want to know where, where you got where, that where, mirror? Where, where, where is this mirror from? There's something about it that's interesting. What, what mirror are you speaking about? The mirror. There's only one mirror. There's a paint, the painting of your aunt. Uh, it, she's holding a mirror. So yeah, we haven't located that yet. That's a that's a that's that's one of her family heirlooms. I've got to assume. I mean, we hadn't seen my aunt in several years, obviously, but obviously it it kept. She had great. We're hoping to find it. I mean, oh, that, I've got to assume. Okay, there's a mirror in the painting. Yeah, the paint. It was so going back to it, Flargo. When you walked in, you saw the painting of Lara Tillich, right? And then when she was a much younger woman, and she's holding a mirror, you know, at her waist level. Yeah, but he does. So you don't have the mirror. No, we don't. Not, I haven't found it as of yet. I've got to assume it's, unless she took it with her. Purple chest willing, she was able to escape. You know, if she didn't take it with her, it's got to be somewhere on these grounds, I would assume. But we again, you know, we yeah, haven't opened up every box drawer and and. Can I look closer at the painting? Yeah, feel free to if you think there's a clue in there, absolutely. Yeah, all right. Can I climb up on uh, whatever? Uh, he signals his case, he signals uh, his man to bring you his fighting mirror, his fighting ladder. <laughs> he signals his man, <laughs> and uh, they they do they bring you a small step ladder. The the painting is elevated about six feet off of the ground, right? It's a nice 12, 14 foot ceiling in the foyer. The painting's about six feet tall. She's about five, five and a half feet in the painting. It's a beautiful painting. Yeah, all right. So I want to look closer at the mirror. Oh, okay, give me an investigation check with advantage. And what are you looking at or for specifically? I'm looking for markings in the... Uh, and uh, if I can tell what material it's supposed to be made of. We're talking of the mirror or of the painting? Of the mirror. Okay. I'm looking for markings along the edges of the of the mirror in the painting. Uh, so. Investigation check with advantage. Nope. Okay. I, no, so no. the painting. So the painting is not overly detailed for that item right so there's a lot of detail in the face there's a lot of detail in the clothing but not like fine detail right um the paint the 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 mirror itself is is of some silverish type metal it's it's like that white white gold silver wouldn't go as far as platinum wouldn't say steel there's something more to it um there is no reflection in the mirror it's just a, like a, a, a glass. It's, it's just, it's obvious what it is though. It's not, you know, nobody would make a looking glass in the shape of a square, right? Or a rectangle, I should say. Um, there is, there's, you know, it, it's, it's rounded on the edges. It flows. Um, there are light gray markings around the quote unquote frame, but you can't make out any real detail. Somebody put, took some time to put some detail into it. So there's something there. Um, you know, but there's there's nothing you can make out. If there's no uh, reflection, is she a vampire? 
Fuck. Well, she's not looking in the mirror. <laughs> she's holding it at her, at her waist. The mirror is essentially facing you. What's on the wall? Is the painter a vampire? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a rock wall, man. You know, the painter didn't paint yeah. themselves in the reflection. Perhaps. As you, uh, so I just you... quietly want to mention that in four straight D20s now, I haven't rolled over a six. Okay. okay. Well, that's your ineptitude. Yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, Perhaps. So, obviously, you've got all these maps. Have you discovered any keys that you don't know what they're for not yet again we haven't opened any um we haven't opened every box in the attic or down in the cellar we haven't opened every um chest under every bed we we we, we have not yet begun the formal um auditing of everything that's here okay do you, know if, a, here, do, do you know if there's a heavy door in the cellar or uh, that hasn't been opened a heavy door? There's mm. several doors in the cellar. That hasn't been opened, a locked one. A new one, a modern one. A modern lock. Just the doors to move from room to room. Okay, but not not a mysterious one. <laughs> if, if you do... Do you, if, do you happen <laughs> to have a mysterious door lying about? If, you if, might if, do. If you find any keys that you don't know what they're for, I would be very much interested to uh, see the key. Should he kind of he kind of looks a little okay. Um, I <laughs> mean, it's, you know, all you're basically asking him is if you find a mysterious key. Again, remember that they haven't logged every item that's in this manor yet, right? They haven't done the formal auditing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But just just in case, I just if you do come across something, it would be nice to know. Absolutely, if you think it'll help. Right. I think so. I think. Would it? Sorry, carry on. No, go on, Dakar. What are we going to say? I just think I think we should have. I think we should get back down these. Uh... We got rest first. Yeah, yeah. So I think you know if if Dakar, Dimitriov, you... and Flagel can rest because Eliod was renewed by his vision, so he could. I he mean, doesn't have to, does he? Like, he are you opposed to a long? Time. Are you opposed mm. to a long rest here? Because I really want to fix my handcuffs. The the problem is it's twelve it's twelve noon right like we're gonna get our like body clocks completely out of sync if we're not careful. <laughs> oh right okay my body clock's already ruined because of daylight savings. <laughs> oh, true. So, I love that Elliot, even in a fantasy setting we have to think about our body clocks. <laughs> <laughs> so short rest do you, you reckon? So short um rest? um at that point Faps kind of single sig singles signals to one of his manservants one of his manservants comes in. Um, with various meats, cheeses, um, a few vegetables, goblets of wine, goblets of uh, uh, tankards of water, things like, no Budweiser, sorry, Dim. Um, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, and he starts to, to eat from them, so do <laughs> some of his manservants. Um, Elon comes back in the room. You see Elon again, he, he nods at you all. He starts eating. He points down at the food. Get something in you if you're planning on going back down there. Mm. Right. Hey, I'm what, not going to eat. Food, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> What'd you say there, Elliot? I do not partake. What? Mm. I don't want to eat anything. You don't want to what? <laughs> I don't don't want to eat food. <laughs> Are you going to eat your own rations then? Because it's been. I'll have some of my own rations, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's more than fine. Um, Faps, I just want to make sure you guys are eating every 24 hours minimum, I'm, right? I'm, I'm eating. Like, we ate that ball, right? Yeah, we, <laughs> we ate a red ball. So, like, at, the the day, at the end of the day, we're already doomed. Yeah. <laughs> we, all, we all chow down on that ball so hard. <laughs> okay, um, I need Dimmy and Flargle Snarp to both give me a constitution check, please. Um, uh, the meat tastes great. The food tastes great. The goblets are fantastic. It's you feel a uh, you know invigorated, renewed because you've been eating. Uh, aside from the boar three days ago, um, two days ago, you've been eating nothing but rations. And then, Dato, when you get a chance, Constitution. Was it? Is I take it it's ability rather than saving, right? Yeah, just a regular ability. Yes. <laughs> um, 
Dato, you are feeling warm. Oh. Ooh. You're um you're you're starting you're sweating a little bit. Um this started to kind of come over you this morning a little bit, but it came and it went. Um this was uh, started before you even um descended down into the down into the caverns. Um but you are feeling I don't want to say that you're weak like you can't walk, but you're starting your 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 um your elbows and your muscles are starting to feel a little bit weak. Do uh do goblins suffer menopause? <laughs> Men no. don't suffer. Oh, he's warm. <laughs> he's warm. It could be a fever, Demi. Oh, that is probably more likely. Well, I mean, your emotions have been completely out of whack, you know. Like, <laughs> just an observation. Oh God, just an observation. Jimmy working hard to get us cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, uh, Elliot, um, yeah, Elliot, I keep, I keep wanting to call you a different character name, but it's Elliot. Um, Faps looks down at you, and he doesn't say anything, but he's, he's interested by the fact that you've put your pack down, you've pulled out your own rations, your own water skin. And I, you, you're eating your own. I have very bland palate. I, I like the rations. <laughs> You've been the most excited about eating food at this mansion out of all of us. No, 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 no. I, no, 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 dude, Joe. No, no, no. I'm, I'm happy to eat rations. <laughs> You've literally so, yeah, been he doesn't going, say let's anything. Get dinner, let's it... get dinner. <laughs> Did, dinner Dinner with rations. Mm, yummy Stop rations. Stop being clueless. Take a hint. <laughs> so what's the, what's the plan, gentlemen? What are we doing then? Um, I don't know how, how many spells have, do you need, Flagger? Like, how many spell slots have you got? Cause you I don't to... get any back from a short rest. Yeah, that's so what I mean. So how many have you got left? Yeah. I've got virtually I'm none. I'm up for a long rest because of my Hancocks. Like, but we can do a long, long rest. rest now. A long rest now, uh, like... Then whatever's down there will have had plenty of time to like re. Is is there much difference between four hours and eight hours though in terms of preparation or scale? Uh, that's true. I thought it was two hours. For sure. And then like oh, yeah. so, a short rest is approximately two hours. Ah, we just, okay. I'm just doing that because you know it is sometimes some people say a short rest is thirty minutes. Some people you know just I always like to do a short rest is about two hours, about a quarter of what you would sleep overnight. I think it makes sense, especially when you're getting spell slots back. You know, um, you take a little bit to kind of get comfortable, right? Kind of if you're in the wilderness to set up whatever you may be setting up, yeah. and then and to re-break that down. It doesn't matter whether it's daytime or nighttime because we're going to go into a pitch black tunnel anyway, aren't we? So mm. it's not that like we're going to get. To know. We could go for a long rest if, if you know, if you think it's worth Diddle being able, well, Flagle being able to do anything in the, in the, um, in the thing. Yeah. And have you used any? Oh no, you've got yours back already. Mm. Yeah, let, right. let's do a long rest, sure. I need my handcocks. And Dimi needs his. Dimitriov needs his handcocks. So we'll go to um, we'll go to dust. So everybody, go ahead and open up your character sheets. Just click a long rest, and if it says is this overnight, it's click nice. no real quick. Tell me if it brings your spells back. I've never, I haven't done that yet on this program. <clears throat> oh, I got I my new day by mistake because it was just all That's okay because I'm just going to forward the. I'm going to forward the. Oh, the I've time. done new day. It doesn't give you the option for new day. Okay, no. then that's fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, no, Elliot did. So you put eight hours. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Oh, you know what that oh. affects? I'm sorry. I know what that affects. That's if you guys start getting um, exhausted. You need to have like overnight rests to, to clear up exhaustion. So that's probably what they're queuing on. Yeah. Did everybody get back all of their spell slots, abilities, everything? Yeah. S sorry, I, I just yeah. realized I don't want to take a rest. C has this given me back anything that I should have not have had? Because I had my spell slots already. My HP was full already. No, you're fine. You're fine, Elliot. Okay, can well, I, so you, can would I have, just... you would have rested. What, what would you have done to not take a rest? Are you going to go for a jog? or? No, I'm going to take a poke around the manor. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'd like to investigate the basement. The, the paint in and the upstairs bedrooms. <laughs> okay, so no, don't worry. You can. Uh, uh, I'm fine with that. You know. Um, so, how are you? So tell me how this is happening. So you, the four of you are in Faps's office. 
Faps has now taken a chair. Omar has taken uh, Omar has taken a chair. Elon Elon has taken a chair. Um, one of his manservants. It's a very relaxed atmosphere, right? He's not like a brooding, uh, you know, uh, lord, if you will, right? His his people are relaxed around him. As you guys rest, um, Dimmy, you definitely you repair. You pull out of you you open your pack. You pull out some cord. You uh, take the old cord off of the Hancocks. Um, you place those in your pack. You know, you you never leave anything behind. You retie your Hancocks. Those are fully repaired. Um, maybe you pull out a sewing kit and you know and and kind of you know, tighten up you know one or two of the 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 leather uh, um, uh, sections on your leather armor, things like that. Right, you're preparing for whatever uh, combat may come. I'm jumping down into the uh, jumping. I'm climbing up into the sofa and uh, resting. Okay, so um, as you do that, Faps kind of looks at you a little bit like, is he clean? I don't, I can't tell. And he looks at the sofa, nothing's rubbing off on you, so he kind of goes, okay, and then he just lets it go. He doesn't say anything. I, I dragged, like, my, uh, one of my uh, extra, uh, I, I puddle up, like, a pillow in the corner of the sofa, and then I drag uh, one of my extra, um, cloth pieces over me as a blanket. <laughs> I like how this guy just makes himself at home, right? <laughs> Doesn't take a chair. He's like, I'm laying out right here like Grandpa I on the instant, couch. I instantly fall asleep. I know how to do that. I'm, I've done this before. <laughs> okay, so Elliot, did, um, anything you're doing, Daka, at all? Mate, right, imagine yeah. being able to cast sleep on yourself. Yeah, no, I just have a rest, you know, I just, just find a room and... Uh... Uh. And, and well, he's, he's 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 invited you in here to take a chair here. He's not in, in, in no way has he said go take a bedroom to take a chair. Yeah, you're just resting. Well, six hours. Yeah, you guys are gonna rest. You're gonna have a nice little conversation. You're eating some food. That's a rest, a long rest. Okay. You can nod <laughs> off if you want in that chair. I'm sure he will. No, no, but... that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, How's okay. little Jimmy? How's yeah, little Jimmy okay. resting? He can curl up next to Jim. <laughs> Uh, and then, so Elliot, tell me, tell me what's going to happen here. All right. So I, I walk back out into the where, wherever the painting was, and I'd like to examine the wall opposite the painting. Okay, the wall opposite the painting is the door you entered in. Oh, that's not a wall at all. Uh... No, exactly. So you walked in. <laughs> to your left was the offices. To the right is another door that's closed. And then in front of you was is that beautiful painting that was basically greeting anybody walking into the manor. And I don't suppose I can remove the painting from the wall. <laughs> it's a big painting. <laughs> yeah, that, that was what I was thinking, yeah. Uh, I also don't know how appropriate it would be if you started to, you know, get on the ladder and started lifting the can, can I cast? <laughs> can I cast Mage Hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, no matter, there's an option there. So open up Mage it's, Hand real quick. Tell me how much you can lift with Mage Hand. It's too big for Mage Hand. Um, so that you can use an action to control the hand. You can use the hand to manipulate an object, open an unlocked door or container, stow or retrieve an item from an open container, or pour the contents out of a vial. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You, the, the, the hand can't attack, activate magic items, or carry more than 10 pounds. Okay, so 10 pounds is our oh, limit. So okay. this painting will definitely be more than 10 pounds. I will allow it that if you want to will say lift the painting off of the wall, meaning grab the bottom of the painting and kind of swing it out, say five or six inches. While you look behind it, you could definitely do that with it. Okay, the so... The question is, is how is it hung? Uh, oh, like as in, is the bottom like nailed down or something? Well, is it, yeah, is it, is it, is it, um, is it fastened to the wall or is it hung with rope behind or wire that would allow it to be maneuvered or is it like you had said? Oh, so, so, so how, how is it then? Or, or do I have to try it and find out? You could just simply look behind it. Oh, right, well, I look behind the painting to see okay, how it's so hung. it is indeed hung by a wire. You can see behind it, although it's not clear. It's very dark, and it's a it's a large painting, right? We're talking six foot tall by probably three to three and a half feet wide. Okay, maybe four feet wide. So I cast Mage Hand, and a a, a shining golden spectral hand fizzles into existence, 
Uh, using my action, the hand grasps the bottom of the painting and levers it slightly away from the wall, allowing me just to peek my eyes behind it. Okay, give me a perception check, please. Okay, so the painting is extremely well crafted, right? Going from everything from the canvas is beautiful, well bound behind it. The frame is of metal. The frame is as close as you can tell, probably made of silver and or a silver alloy. Um, it lifts off the wall. There's the behind the wall is the same exact as the rest of, I'm sorry, behind the painting is the same exact as the rest of the wall. There's no hidden Though doors. There is, there is a slight coating of dust where you can tell nobody's kind of cleaned behind it in quite some time. Um, nothing is overly out of the ordinary, but this painting is worth money. I the take... frame alone could probably get you a couple of hundred um, gold pieces to the right buyer. I tell you what, if if Elliot was a prison guard, <laughs> that, that movie. Would, would right, happen. right. I I, I, I was sure there was going to be something shopping? by this thing. <laughs> right, I take the painting and put it in my pocket, and then I move to the basement. So say again, you what? No, I'm kidding. So can, can I can I poke around the basement now? Or so the, so there's the office that you were in, and there is a door closed to you opposite the office door. Okay, I try to open the opposite door. Faps kind of brings his head around the corner. Can, do you need some help with something out there? Is there something I realize? I I were... sorry. Continue, Faps. Maybe you'd feel more comfortable in here. I know I sure as hell would. I appreciate the other Faps. I'm. Um, you know, extremely pressed to try to, you know, to, to find more information about what's going on here. You you said yourself that you've not checked out the manor completely yet. There are boxes, there are parts that perhaps you don't, uh, you're, you're unaware of exactly, you know, what's there. I, I'd like to take a look around the basement. I suspect it may be connected to the catacombs. Uh, in fact, one of our, one of our number of Flagglestop, um, uh, told us that it is. So uh, I, I'd like to check that out. Uh, so I was planning to head down there. The, the minute you say that, right, his eye Im immediately shoots over to Elon. And um, he nods to him instantly. Elon rises and goes past you through the door, shuts it behind him, and you can hear him walking off. Undoubtedly, he is going to check out the basement himself. C could I go too? Is that a question, or is that you're asking me if you can follow him? No, I'm asking Flaps. Can I can I, can I go with Elon? I'd feel more comfortable right now if we secured the mid. This is still our home right now. For now. So you, you don't want strangers wandering around? I, I not assume. currently. No, I don't want anybody. I don't. I don't know what the hell is going on here yet. All right. Well, in that case, uh, I will spend a little bit of time uh, trying to uh, fix up my school so that it doesn't degrade, and uh, and then sit on the chair with everybody else. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do with that squirrel, Elliot? <laughs> well, it just it just deteriorates. I'm clearly not a very good tinkerer, so it, every 24 hours I have to fix it, otherwise it'll break. But like, so, what, what does it does it do anything? <laughs> oh, it's a decoy, right? It's gonna yo, know, it moves five feet per turn. You know, it makes a noise. Well, it makes a little little noise, yeah. So I put it on the ground. You know, it's a distraction. You know. <laughs> so what he has to do basically is he's tightening screws. He's tightening um, springs inside of it, right? So Elliot, uh, Elliot, curiously. Um, he sits um, crisscross style on the floor, right? Puts out this beautiful, I'm, I'm talking beautiful um, artisan's kit. Uh, the, the smallest screwdrivers you've ever seen, the smallest wrenches you've ever seen, small hammers. Um, you know, it, it, the guy looks like the computer repairman from hell, right? It, oh, there we go. <laughs> It even says black. It says Noman Decker on it. And, <laughs> and he proceeds to, you know, open up this squirrel, this this clockwork squirrel with no hands. <laughs> and, and he's tinkering and tightening, and he, he takes a good four to six hours on this thing. Elliot, give me another, um, give me another tinkering roll. 
Uh, what do I roll for tinkering? Sorry. So, um, your artisan tools. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so you managed to get one of the little claws to start working. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. You can get both, but in in your time here, you've actually able to get one of the claws to to click clack at whatever a uh, rhythm that you wanted to click clack to. <laughs> okay. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, is there anything else that uh, that you would like to do during this rest? No. Anybody? Oh. Flargo Snarps asleep. Um, Dimmy has successfully repaired his handcocks. Um, Jimmy has uh, he has um, oiled and tightened his his hand crossbow. He's he's you know his tools and all of that. He's pulled his badge off his chest and given it a nice polish. You see. Um, at, at the at the sight of doing that, you see little Jimmy sit down next to him, and he pulls out his sling, and he's tightening the little knots on his sling, not doing anything to it, of course. <laughs> Brilliant. Is that everything? I guess so. Okay, I figured. So after about an hour or so, Elon returns, and um, he just simply declares, "I haven't found it." When you said, uh, and he and he looks over it at at. at um, at Dimitrov, when you said strange doors, what what am I what was I supposed to be looking for? All that's down there are the the and he looks over at Faps, the doors to the storages, the doors to the um, to the other areas of the basement. There's nothing I couldn't find anything down there from an, another door. I tapped all the walls. I, there was nothing hollow going on down there of any that I could find at least. Uh, well, it was, it, it, it was more a key. Uh, if you could find a key. Um, well, we found. But you some... and the gnomish one there uh, were talking about strange doors. Well, there there is a door that requires a key, and we don't know exactly where it goes, but we believe it goes into the manor. Like, in the, in and the where, where was this door? It's a new door as well. It's it's relatively new. I mean, when he said modern, I don't know how. The the, the lock was modern, not the door. Okay. But yeah, we, 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 I mean, there's a door that we need, we would love to find out where it goes and what it is, but we don't know exactly where it is. So we wanted to have a look around to see if, uh, if it was connected to the mansion. Like, we don't know, we just suspect. But again, where was this door? What am I looking for? It was uh, in the, the catacombs. Ca it was in the catacombs, so. So it's... So there's a door in a wall that you think is connected to us, how? So basically, if you go into the catacombs, you're underground, right? You head north. Like, so if, do you know where the trapdoor is into the catacombs? The minute you, uh, you, are you talking the entrance that's in the farmhouse? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, we, we went down that when we came and saved your asses. Okay. Yeah, so if you head north slash east, uh towards where the mansion is there is a ladder that goes up to a locked door and uh we believe it's beneath the mansion but so it's a trap door uh flag will snap i mean i'm asleep uh i well no it's a door as far as i know it's, a, it's an actual door i don't think it's okay, a so trap it's a trap door flargo snap explained to you guys it was a trap door at the top of the ladder remember he had to hang on to the ladder to try to pick the lock Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's a trap. He was there. working upwards, attempting to pick the lock, and yeah. the door opened upwards Maybe into it's under wherever a... it opened into. Yeah. Maybe it's under a rug then or yeah. something. Yeah. Are you saying this out loud, or are you guys... Uh, yes, I am saying Okay, it out. so, well, there's no rugs down there. Now that I know it's a trap door... I didn't see anything underneath me, but we could definitely push around some of the boxes and crates down there and see. I think it's worth taking a look. So at that point, Faps rises and he invites, he looks over at Flargal and just leave him be, he's fine, and invites you guys down into his basement. Well, hey. So we head into the basement. Okay, so you're leaving Flargal behind? Uh... I am, yeah. I, I think. 
I he's... I give him a bit of a shake on his shoulder and see if he's sort of close to waking or not. I'm not. You're not well, okay. He's out cold. Okay. I wake I wake up uh, still. Like I wasn't close to waking up, but like this is a. I know where we are, right? I'm not oh, absolutely. I'm not super comfortable here too uh, here either, and like I'm I'm. This is the type of like sleep where you get when you're on the road or when you're on the run, uh, when you're unsecure uh, at the at the streets, right? So, uh, like, it doesn't take that much to wake me up, and a rustle on the shoulder would definitely <clears throat> wake me up. What's going on, Elliot? Uh, we're heading down to the basement, Flagel Snarp, to see if we can find any entrance to the catacombs. Would you like to join us? Yes, please. I'm very interested in looking around. Or I'm so as curious as you are. You guys head down into the basement. It's around a few corners, right? And then down through. It's actually through the kitchen areas. Um, the basement is lit. There's torches on the walls. Um, they come down with a lantern that was already lit and was sitting at the top on a uh, on a pedestal. Not a pedestal, but on a table. Um, the basement is nice and chilly. It's cool, right? It's It's deeper. It was obviously made to keep items fresh for food. Um, there are, there are uh, vegetables sitting there. There's various cuts of meat, fresher cuts of meat. There's also some rations there along the, along the sides. Um, you go through a single door and then there's like basically a large basement area. There's boxes. There's paintings leaned up against walls with with um, with uh, sheets over them, cloths over them. There's barrels. There's two or three. There's yeah. There's two doors. If uh, if if uh, from what you can see, both those doors are wide open. There's smaller closets. That there are other crates, chests, things like that in there. It's a relatively undescript basement, but you can see it's it's obviously here for storage. A majority of which is just flotsam and jetsam of, of different barrels, containers, things like that. The previous trapdoor was in a closet, right? Can we investigate the closets? Yeah, I so think we did. So Faps and his man immediately just start taking to, if there's a light chest, they lift the light chest, even small ones. They start to slide boxes a little bit. They're not even giving you really any regard. They're, it's almost as if they are inviting you tacitly to help them search. I'll help them search. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. Let's have everybody give me an investigation check, please. Oh, very exciting. Oh, wow. Dak is uh, the man. Well, I should have taken my other... Uh, I should have been of servant. <laughs> <laughs> Investigation. Oh no, I'm not very good at investigation. I'm terrible. Uh, in fact. How are you not good at investigation? I'm terrible. Policeman, isn't he? Ooh, oh, I rolled an 18 though. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> no, you rolled an. Oh yeah, you rolled. You rolled a 19. Yeah, you got minus a one. Negative one because <laughs> his intelligence is pure shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, okay, so I think I think Blackpool uh, did something with my dice today. <laughs> I'm sure I did, right? Yeah. All right, so um, once again, so you slide all these boxes, you know, not around, right? You're not playing like one of those those kids' games where you slide in boxes for, you know, what is it, Tetris or whatever. But you're moving boxes. You're, you now know what you're looking for. Um, you're looking for something in the floor, right? You're not ignoring walls. You're not ignoring. I'm not telling you that, oh, you only looked in the floor. But that's, that's you know, you know you're looking for a trap door of some kind. Um Again, there's tapping of the walls. They're just, you're looking for what's out of the ordinary. Um, you don't really find anything. Daka, you, there's something here though, man. Something's bothering you. Something's really bothering you. The, the, the basement seems undersized in relation to the size of the manor, right? Why have a manor this large, but have a basement this small? Do you, do you understand kind of where I'm going with this? Mm. Right? If you had the ability to, to have, right, if you're building a manor, if you're building, it's almost like, why would a manor of this size, and this isn't the case, why would a manor of this size only have two bedrooms, right? It just, there's, it's out of the ordinary to you. 
Well, I shall relay that to the group. Is there, like, uh, any part where we think this could be sealed off, or is there another basement? That's so, my answer to the group. <laughs> yeah, so, again, Daka kind of looks around, and, and from your searching, and and and, um, and uh, Faps is searching, and he looks over and he goes, this is the only basement. But now that you, I never really thought about it, Daka. And you know, it's kind of, you can see the gears now shifting in his head like, man, I should have, I should have noticed this as a soldier too, especially a tunnel fighter. But again, why would he look for something that he does not necessarily search for, right? It's his home, it's his family home. Super interesting. We're going to keep searching, without a doubt. We're going to we're going to turn this place upside down. If you found a door, there's a door somewhere. I don't know if it goes here, or if it goes to another one of the houses out there. But we're going to find this damn thing. We've got to find every access to whatever the hell is down there. Yeah, I'm and just he looks like, over. Go for ahead. For your sake, yeah, for your sake, like that's why we uh, relayed the information, right? Because like the trap door would obviously, if that's down there where they they did their rit rituals with the with the worm then you obviously don't want them to have straight access to your house uh from there so um, um faps looks over at elon and, and immediately says to him he says get everybody's belongings not your guys's but have everybody move into the master bedroom we don't know where this this we don't know what's going on if we're sleeping here tonight we're sleeping as a group who just slept though? Yeah, but no, he's no, not, not you guys. Talking to he's, us. He's, he's talking, talking about to he's talking about him and his men. <laughs> him and his men. Yeah, you've you've now you've now pinged another warning in his head, if you will. So there's got to be something like so. Where would like Daka? Where would you think the rest of this basement would be? In correlation to the manor, so if the manor's like don't this, no, <laughs> like you... he's got a minus one intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Duck is the dumbest guy around. Why are you so dumb, Dacker? Because <laughs> I thought it'd be more appropriate, easier to roll, uh, easier to well, role play well, somebody well, with you intelligence. Have in your hand, <laughs> and you have to have in your hands and legs. You're not gonna be a <laughs> guy. Obviously, it imitates don't life, right? <laughs> well, it's, it seems to me as though we're asking, I don't know, the, the, the wrong question. We're, we're looking for a place in the manor that we don't know exists, so we don't know where it is. But we have a passageway already that we don't know what's down there, and we, we can go down there. So I, I suggest we, you know. We, we go back down those catacombs and go down that passageway yeah. and see where it okay. leads. Okay. I agree. I agree. I agree. Let, uh, yeah. let Faps try to find whatever he can find here. And yeah. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I've just got to mark the time because we all agreed on something. So, yeah. <laughs> Seven twelve on Sunday the twenty sixth. There we go. Okay, gentlemen. So um, we've been going at it for two hours. Let's take our first <laughs> break there. Let's take a five minute break. Let's uh, let's refill. Let's get glasses and all of that, and then. It sounds like you are headed back down into the uh, catacombs. We are going. We are yeah, going. To rum, to rum, to ra. Yep. Cheers.
Hey, Dim. Hey, JB. That coffee in there. I, I, I love how you, you softly touch your ear. Okay, gotta unmute, mute, unmute, mute. Yeah, man. I should get a, like, a little button that I can press. Have you seen uh, Elliot's exoplasm on his wall? What did you say? Have <laughs> <laughs> you seen Elliot's ectoplasm on his wall? Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that, yeah. <laughs> I, like how, I like how he's got the whole, he's got a catacomb, he's got a inside of a house, he's got a farmhouse, he's got a woods. <laughs> I like Jimmy's chair. Whoa. Oh, I did, wow, that was weird. Looked like a ghost sat down in Jimmy's chair until he sat down in Jimmy's chair. Hello, Jim. Hello, Jim. Hello. 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 You all right, mate? Oh, I'm lovely, thanks. I'm not that good, no. My fucking ear yeah. is killing me. Oh, my God. Oh, it's God. your ear. I thought you were having, like, acid farts. <laughs> no, my ear is oh. fucking killing me, like, constantly. Yeah, you, oh need, to, you need to get a drain, dude. I'm telling you. Mm. Oh, yeah, the syringe. Yeah, my old man had that. And then he said he could hear, like, loads of stuff. Ear loads yep. of stuff. <laughs> I, I, get, I get mine cleared out every year, man. You'd be Do surprised. You? Yeah, apparently, like, the, when you get it done, like, you need to get it done more, though. That's the thing, isn't it? That's the... But he was saying, like, he could hear, like, the wings of butterflies, like, flapping. <laughs> 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 like, he, he, he thought he was, like, deaf, right? Like, and then he had... Well, he's, he's getting a bit mutton now, but, like, he, uh... Adam syringed in that, and he was like, oh, I couldn't believe it, Dim. I could hear the wings on a butterfly. <laughs> 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 Mate, you'd love my old man. He's all right now. <laughs> He's all right now. <laughs> He's like a token London geezer from the seventies. Or I don't know when he grew. Like I guess the seventies were his big one. But yeah, he's, uh... that is just so friggin' glorious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's I could hear the wings of butterflies. That's <laughs> what, he, mate. That's that is literally how he explained it to me. Dim -a. Dim -a. So, uh, you know, I them could, la ladybirds. I could hear the sound of sex. <laughs> oh, I ain't heard that in a while. Mate. <laughs> About eight, eight years. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he checks his watch. <laughs> Happy eighth birthday, son. <laughs> Oh, dear. oh, we got close up on the tinfoil. Look at that. Well, man, did you, did you notice, though, how committed this man is? Instantly, he went to the catacomb background. I need to. I need mm. to. Uh, I need to get a blonde wig, don't I? I need to get a blonde wig. That's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna invest in. Yes. Yeah, you do. After water bowl. After water bowl. Yeah, we we all need we all need to use the OBS camera, and uh, what is it, OBS? Virtual cam. Virtual cam, yeah. yeah virtual I don't even know what that is. Two, two problems. One is you kind of need a green screen. And two, how do you do it, Jimmy? C can you run two copies of OBS? No, because obviously not. one of your copies is already running the, the thing. Mm, shit. Well, no, no, he can. So um, the answer to that is yes. He can actually. Because, okay, Jim, so when you make the stream, are you putting your, your Discord camera on the stream? Um. No, no, I'm I'm screen grabbing Discord. We had another one of those acid farts. Just, but that's oh, what right. I'm saying. But you're using you're using the camera from Discord, not the camera from your stream. Correct. Correct. So just replace the camera from your stream over your Discord face. Every every time Jim winces, it's because he's having an acid fart. By the way, chat. Oh my God! We'll I'll try. I'll try and work it out. Oh, there we go. There yeah, not right now. But I mean, that that should be your <laughs> that should be your answer. I'll try and, and then out. and then step two is to um, get with uh, what is it HHS and uh, get your appointment for ninety five days from now to get your ear fixed. Yeah, yeah, it'll take a while. Jim, Jim had a vindaloo last night, but he forgot to put his toilet paper in the freezer. Fuck off, Jimmy. Um, <laughs> I can't see anything, by the way, uh, Jack. Well, there's a yeah. reason for that. It's because mm. we're in the dirt. You, you, you guys are in the dirt again. Riddles in the dark. Yep. Okay, um, so uh, very quickly, uh, before we actually start up again here, who's carrying the torch, number one? And number two, what are we doing with little Jim? Little Jimmy's coming with us, mate. He's a legend. I love little Jimmy. 
Yeah, I, I, he's got to come with us, hasn't he? I reckon I rate him, mate. I rate him. He does more damage than Dado. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Falls over less than Dimitriov. What? What? Um, yeah, and he's less prone to being touched by ginger lads. <laughs> wow. Whoa. I don't know if I'm in, in the scene or whatever, right? There's a there's a green D, that's Daedal, isn't it? And there's a blue E I can't for see anything, Oh, yeah. I've, I've just got blackness. I, I can see Dimitriov and, and Jimmy, but... I, I can't see anything. I, I've literally no, got black. I've just got all black. I'm just all black as well. Someone put the torch on. Uh, Eliod torch? Do I have a torch? Yeah, Eliod everyone's torch. got a torch. Eliod torch would be best, wouldn't it, I think? because then I don't have a torch in my inventory box. No. What have you done with you? Can I can I give you my torch? Yeah, I'll give you some torches. I don't know where I, you are to give it to though. I've got six torches. Did you guys come over to the scene? Refresh your um, refresh your thing. Refresh. refresh. The thing. How do I refresh? I'm standing next to. It says you must log yeah, in. Yeah, I know. I can I can see today. um, I can see myself, Dadel, and Elliot in the scene. I'm not sure why you guys didn't get pulled over. Log in. Hold on, I got to re-log in apparently. Hmm. Oh God. Yeah, you, oh, there you go. You guys all logged out, both of you. I didn't weird. launch. You're weird. Your beard is weird. With your ass it's the part. damn fighters, dude. This game is private and you must log in. Yeah, how did we log out? What the hell? Log off. I've done that a few times. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. <clears throat> right, I reckon we should kill everyone. Yeah. I want to get right. I want to use my charge. <laughs> Thanks, Kalon. <laughs> I want to use my charge. Okay, Dimmy's in game. Yep, I'm on uh, the way. I'm 98%. Yeah, you're not in the scene yet, but you're in game. Yeah, log me out. I don't know why. Yeah, me too. Weird. Don't ever trust an American, Jim. Something Never like trust an American. All right, Dimmy's in scene. There we go. I'm in. Well, I'm not in. I'm loading. 98%. So are we going, are we going right here? Instead of up the ladder, because obviously well, we're about we're about to make that determination here in one sec. Let's get okay. Right. Jimmy's in scene now. Okay, so little Jimmy is indeed coming with you, and then who is holding said torch, so I can give them the light. I think it's for best for Elliot. Nom, nom. Yeah. I think it's best okay, for Action. <laughs> right. So I guess we get we get like to about here without incident here. Are you eating again, Elliot? It's fucking tea time, you <laughs> degenerate. Mate, you just ate a whole packet of biscuits and a sandwich. I ate five biscuits. <laughs> oh. And now I'm going to eat the rest. <laughs> Show us evidence of your biscuit eating. <laughs> Show us evidence of your biscuit eating, young man. That's it. So Elliot didn't want to eat dinner with Faps, but man, he brought his own biscuits. <laughs> yeah, didn't he's brought his own rations. He's like, yeah. He's brought his own rations. Hey, whoa, stop moving around. Stop moving around. Stop moving around, right? We're, mate, we're, all we're Elliot has banged right? on about, mate, if, if anyone's watched this the whole way through, or, like, just, if you haven't watched it, go back through all the episodes and watch it, and all Elliot does is talk about eating tea at the mansion, and then we get to the <laughs> mansion, he's, he's like, I'm not eating anything, I'm not eating anything. I'd like to take him up on his offer of tea. I'd like to, when are we going to go back for his offer, boys? I'd like to wait, take wait. him up on this, I'd like to take him up on that. Every single you get there, episode. I'll eat my rations. <laughs> Every single episode is like, it's tea time. We've got to go back for tea. And now well, our body clocks are all messed up. It's, there, it's 8 o'clock and we're just starting on an adventure. Not, not, not mine. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go to sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I will not sleep. I shall not eat. <laughs> okay, so really quick before we move on, I just want to make sure everybody's got their spell slots. Everybody's got all of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Calm down, Daedal. Yeah. I haven't got my character sheet, hold on. There we go. Cool. Oh. Jim, uh, there's also some home remedies where you can actually... There's like a wax paper you can buy. Mm. And you roll it up and you put one edge in your ear and you light the other edge. I'm not going to do anything heat, like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm serious. It works. The heat just goes in and melts. Because you've got an earwax issue, dude. I'm telling you. Okay. And it's on your eardrum. And it melts it so it kind of moves back down and off of the eardrum. I'll just go. To Sometimes the people will actually just take a candle right. and just so the heat kind of goes up the ear canal. Same concept. Trust I'm me. Gonna, I'm not going to stick anything in my ear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then, then 95 days until HHS gets you in, brother. Yeah. I'm just attacking Elliot with my axe. Is that all right? 
Yep, go for it. Okay, so, um, so, uh, Dale, Jesus. So, Elliot has the torch. You have come back down. I just put you kind of where you were because I wasn't sure when you said you wanted to go north. There's the other tunnel that's back further oh, up. Oh, is there another tunnel that we have? Yeah, there, there is. Yeah, yeah remember, oh, north of the rats. And then there is this tunnel oh, here what was that? That, the, um, that the priest ran down during combat to escape you all from. Well, I, I feel like we should go down the first tunnel, just but that's just because, you know. It might be a dead end. Let's go there. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, okay. Lead the way, Eliod. He, he only takes uh, I can't move. What the hell? It's paused, game. I know. I had to pause you so the data ah, would stop okay. running around like a maniac. Yeah. I, I can only move 25 feet. Slow down. <laughs> okay, hold on one sec. Stay there. Can you clear my attack on Elliot, please? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can you clear my attack on Elliot? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm just going to grab you all and move you up. <laughs> oh, it is blatantly going to be just a dead end. Isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. No, did we went up this way, didn't we? We went up this no. way. We went up, we went up the oh, ladders no, and we different. were in the, hold on, hold on, hold on. the woods. Wait, wait. Or was that a different place? <laughs> oh, no, it was. Yeah, we did. Oh, there's snow. Oh, no, we did come this way. Yeah, yeah, that was the tunnel, remember, that let out? Yeah, I remember. I remember to the, the trees, to the trees. And yeah, the, water. the trees. Exactly. Yeah, uh, so the, there's another one of those little tunnels right near the rats, wasn't there? Was there? Like, uh, like the tunnel the cultists ran down. Okay, so this is the tunnel where south of you, the rats, the rat fight occurred. Oh, we never went north. So right. here is where you guys had the crossroads. You took the route to the left instead of going up. Nice. Yeah, because the blood was smelling in the air, wasn't it, or something? Mm, yeah. That well, was no, you guys just chose to go left. Once you passed the um, the the, ex the exterior tunnel, if you will, that's when the blood got strong again. Right. So you just made the choice to go left. There was no other reason other than I'm. We're gonna let's try left, guys. I think I think I've discussed. I think I've uh, made a decision on my character voice. By the way, I'm gonna go for like Beppe DeMarco. Okay. Boy, let's. I think we need to. Okay, so, <laughs> Elliot, we, we've got we've got um, uh, Dimitriov targeting Elliot currently. We have <laughs> we have Largo Snurp running around all over the place. Um, Daka handing behind everybody and little Jimmy in tow. So at this point, let's get back into character here. Okay, so you return back down into the tunnels. You come in via the um, the farmhouse ladder down. Obviously, you get back to these to these crossroads again. You get back to these crossroads again, and um, instead of taking the tunnel to the left, you decide to go north. Kind of give me some idea of what's going on here. So, sorry, how, how do you mean? So are uh, you just you're just going to walk down the tunnel? Is is there somebody in the lead? Is there? I guess I'll take the lead with the torch. Well, I think well, Dadel could take the lead, right? Because he's stealthy. He's got dark vision. He could like he could go ahead and check and then because obviously the the lamp the light will betray our position to any uh any hostiles okay so we, we wait here then i i think jimmy would be too dumb to make that decision <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean oh, <laughs> because of his intelligence <laughs> uh, yeah yeah i think jimmy would just be like <laughs> oh god that's jimmy great Daka. <laughs> what, what do we do? Little Jimmy will just be going, Brrr, but you know, no. Little Jimmy is little, little Jimmy. Jimmy. I'm little Daka. Jimmy is smarter than Daka. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. I think the worm might be. <laughs> it's like what's that cartoon with the big bulldog and then the little dog, the little yippy dog, right? Where the bulldog is big and stupid, Jimmy, and strong, Jimmy's and the little just... yippy dog is the intelligent one. <laughs> da Daka is just like Arsene Wenger trying to put his hand in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> My head in my pocket. <laughs> okay, so Dado, you you and and again, there's no need for you to um, necessarily relay this back to the party. We're just going to assume that. I mean, this is one of those things, right, where the party separates a little, but it's okay that they hear this. So you get to this um, this opening, right? There is some sort of a soft light off to your right here. 
You can't see it directly. You can only see a soft glow of it. And you do hear movement down the right-hand side. I telepathically communicate everything back to Elliot so that they can keep up like 30 yards behind me. Oof. Is that new or have you had that the whole time? No, it's so new. Elliot, and are you doing this in common? Yes, Elliot speaks okay. common. He doesn't speak goblin or draconic. Exactly. Does he not speak so, goblin? Dimmy and I both speak goblin. I, I meant to say that to uh, Elliot because, like, we, we all get loads of languages, right? So I said to Dimmy, "Let's both pick, let's both pick goblin, for, so we could all speak in goblin, so that, like, you know, if there's humans around, uh, we can fantastic. just speak in goblin." <laughs> So you guys are all gonna be chatting shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally <laughs> forgot. Totally forgot what to tell you that when you were meeting your totally character. Totally forgot to tell you that. It's only been seven weeks. <laughs> yeah. We could have done it as well in the manner we could have all just started talking yeah, in goblin. Yeah. Oh, well, not Elliot. <laughs> okay, so um, but Elliot, you hear? We can relay everything now telepathically to Elliot. <laughs> so Elliot, you hear? It telepathically in your mind, it's it's nondescript. Um, it is literally like a thought is is I don't want to say has forced itself into your mind, but it's as if a thought has appeared in your mind, and uh, it's never happened before. All you hear is, and and what exactly do you say to him, Flargo? I'm telling him uh, to like I'm 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 relaying what I'm seeing. And telling him to keep up like 40 yards behind me. Because like Elliot can obviously see me with his dark vision. But so that I am not uh, light and up. So I can still move in the dark. I uh, c quietly uh, relay this information to Daka and Dimitriov. We're following Daedal. He's communicating with me telepathically. Okay, so you have no clue it's Daedal. Oh, I mean, flag. however, wait, however, I would have been presented myself the first time I intruded on Elliot's mind. Okay, there you go. So he identifies himself. I was going to say that you would be able to deduce this because it's very unlikely somebody else is going to say, stick, you know, within 60 feet of me from behind. I see some light up ahead to the right and I hear some movement. But this, this, this jars you a little bit, Elliot, because you have a foreign voice, a friend or foe in your head now. <laughs> Indeed, right. So I'm I'm momentarily shaken. Uh, I I take a while to you know reacclimatize myself to my surroundings. I have something of an out of body experience as my my mind is broken into for the first time. It's not a it's not an experience I'm used to, and it's slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> no, it's a friend. <laughs> what, what, wait, what? What? You broke. You oh. broke. He popped your cherry, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's an experience I'm not used to. Fantastic. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, All right, so, um... Did me a five-year-old. <laughs> Seriously. All right, Dale. He still starts giggling like a schoolgirl and like, All right, <laughs> this could be another sex reference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dado, you have not conveyed that you are doing anything stealthily or anything like that. You've just moved ahead. I'm assuming you want to make some type of a stealth roll. Uh, sorry, I was muted. Yes, I am definitely stealthing. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a stealth roll, please. And we'll assume and also, this. Would... Also, Ducker conveyed that. Hmm. Ducker just like, uh. <laughs> 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 He's got really that, that, that like little green man in head. <laughs> nope, still haven't rolled a head of six today. Okay, so, um, and now give me a perception check for now getting to the end of this hallway. So that that first roll was to establish how how quote unquote hidden <laughs> you are. <laughs> okay. Six today. You, you got to be positive. You've got to channel the positive. confidence. You need yeah. that confidence. Oh my God. He's, he's positive. Sorry. He doesn't know Jack. Shit. Dimitrios. Dimitrios around the back of the head. <laughs> All right. I also relayed, obviously, to uh, Elliot that I heard movement before. Oh, man. This is Oh, cool. here comes Jack Paul's dice. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I can't ro roll above six, and Jackal can't roll below sixteen. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Instant. Instant. <laughs> Five, two, twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so glorious, gentlemen. So, so glorious. <laughs> Look at Dido with all the film. <laughs> Dice oh, again. This is so brilliant. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Oh my god, amazing. <laughs> I just, is he crying? Was that a tear of joy? Yeah, I'm crying my ass off because this is hilarious. <laughs> Nice right, allow me off. one moment here, gentlemen. I telepathically send Daedal. Wham, wham. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's I just like fun to like, play I like how Dimmy spotted the fact that I'm crying. <laughs> it's all good, Daedal. It's all good. We'll save you. Elliot will save everyone, mate. This is how Quad Skulls works. We all fuck up and Elliot saves it. Yeah. I'm still reeling from the impact of uh, telepathic communication. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fair enough. Is, is your ear aching, Elliot? Is that what it is? Uh, uh, sorry, Jim. Sorry, Jim. Scumbag. <laughs> scumbag, Dim. Bad, we, we, bad don't all, we don't all think and talk out of our ass, Dimmy. Whoa. 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 Wow. Dizzy, I, I'm going to tell, tell you a life hack, right? I'm going to tell you a life hack right now. You know why you feel so shit? It's because you don't spew it out of here all day. <laughs> Where I do, right? <laughs> so uh, all the shit feelings within me comes out of my mouth. So that's why I feel so happy in life. Okay, so... <clears throat> excuse me, so Daedal. Um, there was definitely movement. The movement went almost near silent. As you got to the edge of this, we'll say it, opening. I'm relaying this back to Elliot. I think we should prepare ourselves. There's something hostile ahead. Daka, Dimitriov, we've been rumbled. Bless us. <laughs> we've been, Bless we've us, been Lord right. Elliot. Like it. <laughs> Bless Either us, Lord Elliot, back, please. Oh, 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 I, I thought you just meant in a, in a metaphorical sense. Before combat starts, you see. <laughs> Not part of the literal sense. Before combat starts, Lord, Lord Elliot. <laughs> I don't know, what are you? What are you? Priest? Elliot, Father no. Elliot? Are you oh, Father Jim, Elliot? Jim, you know, you know, uh, Dakar, you know what you need to do is you need to sneeze and then Elliot will go, bless you. Bless <laughs> 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 <Achoo>. you. <laughs> bless oh. you. <laughs> oh, I, I will, I will cast bless. Okay, there's not an opportunity to do that as of yet. No, not, not now. Why not? <laughs> I'm just going to ready my axe. I'm going to... Oh, well, now it's too late. Yeah, and already my ex. Yeah, I should have done it sooner. you got to be on the ball with a blessing. you got to be on the ball oh. with a blessing, Zeliod. Okay, um, out of the, out of the, um, from around the corners, um, Flargle Snarp, to your left you see two cultists, to your right you see three more cultists come right around the corner, and two of them are going to get an attack of, uh, are going to get a surprise attack on you, these two specifically. First one takes his first attack. Does a 15 hit you? Yeah. What do I check against? Uh, armor Your armor class. class. The shield. is my armor class. 15. So is that a yes or a no? You... That's a yes. So you take three points of damage as the first dagger comes down and swipes across your uh, shoulder. So I flog, he, you... he comes with his second attack. Oh my god. Five points of damage. You're, you're fine, you're fine. It's, it's all good. Elliot will save you. Other, the other cultist then... Hold on one second. The other cultist gets one strike with his scimitar. Oh my god. What did I tell you? Like, Jackpool is just <laughs> utterly fucking incapable of rolling anything below a 16. <laughs> two, two more points. <laughs> 
Two more points of damage. Because I can't roll above a six in 25 dice rolls today. <laughs> Literally 25 dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> they <know's> dead. <laughs> nah, he's hardly taken anything, has he? Plus, well, when know. when when players go down to zero, they can still be like healed, can't they? That's the thing. It's not like it's okay, not like... gentlemen. Go ahead and pop open your combat tracker, please, and roll for your initiative. Ooh. How do I do that? Can I can I click here to roll? Yeah. Wow, that's sick. Oh, I actually rolled above two. I'm not in range to charge though, that's the problem. Oh, I can bonus it's action. Like, it's like the no, no, so, so no, Jimmy, just to Dimitri attack normally, Jimmy. I mean, you could still Dimitri charge. Up. So if you read your ability, so in order to charge, it's got to be at least 10 feet, but yeah. you're allowed to do it after a dash action. So remember, you can move 30 and then dash 30 in place of an attack. Okay. However, your feet allows you to attack at the end of that dash. Yeah, so you can reach yeah. Yeah, can, Dim can, can Dimmy go after me in some way? If Dimmy chooses to delay, he can, but he's got to declare what he's doing with that delay. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm going to use my booming voice thing that knocks them all back. Okay, you're not up yet. Dimitriov is up first. Yeah, I'm just uh, saying that. So, like, that way Dimmy but... can come after me. Do you think you need to though? I don't think you need to use that yet, because like there's gonna be one blood cultist that goes, all right? And then it's, it's your my turn. best spell. And then like that. There's three guys. There's three yeah, guys. Yeah, they're like, they're there's three guys for our goal. Yeah, uh, sorry. Weak oh, sorry, this is a bit meta gamey, but there's three guys at the moment. There's blood leeches, god knows what. We've already yeah, got X amount of spells slots. <laughs> there potentially is like a super massive worm at the end of this. Mm, yeah, and there are what, five guys here. Oh, there's five. Well, we can only see three. We, yeah. But still, five is nothing. Like, they're, 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 these guys are trash. These are like. One, yeah, them, I... one of them is not a regular cultist. No. <laughs> these guys are trash. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they are kind of, anyway. But I mean, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to steam in. So, how do I do this? Because I need to be more than 10 foot away. So, there. So, basically, just move wherever you'd like to. I think I have to move there, so I'm still 10 foot away. So then, what's is it my bonus action, which is my movement? What the hell is that thing you left behind, Dimmy? Uh, oh, doing? I was trying to measure his earlier. Soul. It's a hydrogen atom. <laughs> it's his yeah, soul. So, so I go to features? Yeah, charger. Is that right? Done it. Yep. <clears throat> and then I move again. So, Dimitriov, really quick, especially for chat, kind of explain what's going on here. So, this was you, you turned level <laughs> four and you took another feat. So, what is actually happening here? Yeah, so I took charge, which basically um, is a feat for my leveling up skill. As part of the dash action, you can make a melee attack with a bonus of plus five if you move at least 10 feet beforehand. So, we're basically supercharging this attack. Yeah, so amazing. So it was 35 foot as well, right? So normally you would have only been able to go up 30 and not attack. He was at like 40 feet. It was yeah. it's brilliant because he was yeah. way in the back there. Yeah, so it gets to go, gets to not only gets to get there, but gets to attack as well. Glorious. Okay, so the attack should give you the automatic plus five. Woo. Perfect. So a 25, nice strike. Now roll for your damage, please. Oh. So you charge in, right? You 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 uh, you know the, the you fly in immediately upon seeing Flargo Snart be set, right? So Flargo Snart moves ahead. He's still within vision of you guys. This dagger strikes come in from his right. The scimitar strike comes across from his left. Flargo reels ever so slightly from the fact that he's been hit three times, and immediately you you just you kick into high gear. You pull out your axe. And you charge straight in, dropping it right into one of their shoulder blades. Beautiful move, Dimmy. What happens next? Uh, 
Hold on. I, I don't think I'm going to use a bonus action just yet. I don't think I'm going to use the quick toss. I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to end the turn there. Like, I'm going to save up for something good. So, over to the cultist. Okay, so this blood cultist then immediately re uh, rears back with his scimitar again and goes for a stab this time right into uh, Flargo Snarp. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> Alright, for six oh, points sorry. of damage. <laughs> I did this on Saturday. Just sat there watching for two hours while someone dies the shit out of me. Hey, <laughs> all of that was training for this moment. Yeah, it's like it's all right, Flar here, <laughs> All of that was training for this moment. Fargo Snarp, sir, you are up, my friend. All right, get the hell out of there, brother. No, I'm gonna drag his breath. I'm gonna touch myself so I can dra drag his breath. <laughs> you gonna what? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna touch myself. <laughs> Could you describe that? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I reach, we, I think I none of us need that. <laughs> in beneath my robes and touch myself. Where does the dragon's breath come from? <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> I, know, I know I'm setting this up for failure here, boys, but I apologize. Okay, so this is one of the ones that I couldn't get a um, a uh, template and all of that set up for because uh, our good man uh, Flargo Snarp didn't inform didn't inform me until 30 minutes before the episode that this is what he was going to choose. So um, I will have this set up for next time, however. So, as a result of Dragon's Breath, this, again, is something that nobody in the party has ever seen, right? You've been in combat with Flargo Snarp four times now, mm -hmm. and he's never done this before. So, Flargo Snarp, please describe what actually happens here. So, uh, after I touch myself on my, uh, like, I gently rub my own uh, uh, throat, oh, and then uh, um, I take a deep breath. And then I exhale, and a large cloud uh, of poison uh, just uh, starts like exhaling, like in a so it, it looks uh, like when a dragon breathes flames, only like it's a it's a poison cloud instead of like actually flames. Uh, okay, in like, which direction it, are you doing it, this? It has different. Um, it has different, slightly different colorings. Like it's it's lighter around the edges, but like it's it's definitely like a, a venomous green color uh, at its core. Uh, straight ahead over these two. <laughs> okay, so that's your fifteen foot cone there. Oh fuck off! <laughs> Yeah, right, surely it starts like in front of here, here, and then uh, breathe over these two instead. You'll get an attack of opportunity there, though, right? Okay, yeah, so I, this cult, this cult is here. Disengage thing to sneak between them. Okay, so say that again. I'm gonna use my disengage to sneak between them and then breathe over these okay. two. Okay, so you're gonna go down here instead and do that. Perfect. All right, yeah. so. Yeah, a fifteen foot cone easily envelops them. Now that the just to, to so now that we're getting into things like this, don't try to over meta this too much. If I think so for instance, if you see here it's like just these like L shaped boxes would get hit. I would have the one to the right also get hit as well. It's not I'm not gonna just because the box doesn't say that somebody gets hit, if it's reasonably within the cone or the circle or whatever, I'm gonna go with that it's not this isn't a this isn't a trying to fight against you guys thing at all here so just keep that in mind for future use yeah, so sure. you 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 spew this um uh dragon's breath out right yeah so i roll uh they have to roll on uh they have yeah, to the make dexterity, dexterity save, dexterity yep. save throw. hold on one second here Oh, here comes Jack Paul's You've got to do the 3d6 anyway, right? Because they only take half as much of the Yeah, they take half the yep. time. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to roll damage there. Oh, 
someone's been reading the rules. Oh, what's, what's that? No, no, don't worry like about that. What? Just roll the damage. Yeah. This is a 15 foot cone. This isn't a to hit. Are you clicking the damage there? Uh, yeah, I'm just making sure that it's 3d6. Okay, so... Uh, average. So, That's 9 nice. points of damage. Slightly less than average, but, you know, for Daedal, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's his best roll of the day. He's crit! <laughs> <gasps> what? Alright, so first one takes full damage, 9 points. Hang on, Nat, nat 1, is, is that not this like... Is, this is a saving throw. This isn't an attack or anything like that. Second one takes half damage, which is going to be four points. You round down, do you? You do, you round up in some cases, and we're just going to round up. We're just going to go round up. Screw it. So five points. All right, then what else, Flargal? No, I've used my action and my bonus action on my moment. Oh, we needed you to be a bit closer to the old thing. Yeah, I, 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 can, can I shout out as Daedal disappears around the corner? Daedal's like, screw this, man. I'm going in. Oh, my God. He's like a fucking blood letter. <laughs> Are you done, Flargal? Yeah, I mean, I can't do anything else, right? Okay, so I'm moving your thing forward. Make sure to end your round there, please. Oh, jeez. All right, so the blood cultist that you just spewed upon um, uh, uh, swings his scimitar at you dead center there. And misses. So you spew this, uh, <laughs> this poison, right? He inhales it, takes a hell of a lot of damage from it, quite frankly. And then, as a result, his, his eyes start watering, and he swings his scimitar in response, but is unable to uh, strike true. Elliot, you're up, sir. So, Elliot, declare right now, do you have your shield or your mace out, because you have the torch? We forgot to ask. Yeah, good point. I have my shield out. Okay. Is your shield ready? No. As I'll, far I'll, as for uh... your AC? How do you have your shield if oh, you have... oh, I, oh. I took my robes off by mistake. <laughs> hey, <wait. laughs> At seeing Flargo Snarp touch himself, <laughs> Elliot immediately <laughs> removes his robes. <laughs> okay, well, I will move <clears throat> Move with the 25. Oh, God. Uh, oh, you could have God. healed him, look, if, if he'd been there. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I could have done, could I? Um, right, okay, so... Hang on, give me a give me a second. Uh, just wanting now to play the this. Priest removes his vestments. Uh... I mean, I asked Dimmy to wait till after my turn to charge him. Don't blame me. Don't blame no, me. It's, 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 all, it's, all, it's all it's all like following actions, like follow, like it's all a deck of cards, right? Just falling. Oh well, cards well I was not the thing that. Send it tumbling. Banter. I'm just, I'm well, just I, I, I see Daedal quit. I see Flagos not move around the corner to attack the cultists. I, I appreciate his blood loss, but it, it leaves me in an awkward position as a, as a healer. I I have to expose myself to the cultists <laughs> in order to. Uh, in, Sorry, in order to so you indeed <laughs> remove your robe. <laughs> so, so I, I move up next to Dimitriov uh, and, um, and I cast uh, Healing Word. On um, onto uh, onto Flargle Snarp. Uh, I can't quite get close enough to touch him, so I can't cast any more powerful spells. But this is the the best I can do. Yeah, ranged healing is pretty good, isn't it? I I raise my hand in front of me, and. Although unseen, a power flows down my arm, divined from the chief engineer, and uh, you know enters into Daedalquist's body, revitalizing him. I got ten HP. That's nice. Ten HP back, yes, sir. Whoa. That's like the best. Come on, Daedalquist. Come on. 
Mm. So, so that was my, this, my bonus action. Um, as my action, um, I will cast Sacred Flame, a cantrip, so I can cast that I as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're trying to get blessed. Oh! <laughs> I, can't, I can't bless you as well as healing data. I can only do one or the other. Oh, that's great, Dimmy. Amazing. Amazing. Only data will put that together, right? Right. <laughs> so. Um, I, I will cast Sacred Flame on, mm, poor. I, I guess the cult is adjacent to, uh, Dimitriov. So, potentially seven damage. Four. What's he got? Uh, and dexterity. it's, uh, dexterity save? It is, yeah. Jack Boyne rolls nice. No. Oh, okay, oh, he takes so he takes full damage, seven points. Oof. He's got a lot of hit points though, judging by the fact that ten. Yeah, a lot of hit points. Mm. And that concludes my turn. Oh man. He moves in behind Dadel and immediately tries to stab him right in the back. There's no bonuses for this or anything. It's just for, uh, just for, uh, uh, comic relief. <laughs> I'll wait till the big boy with the mace turns up. Oi! Right, and then Dadel, Dadel, or Flargosnarp feels this, right? And, and he feels it. Flargosnarp feels this and ducks underneath another scimitar swing. So perhaps Flargo wasn't, uh, you know... Wasn't so wrong to charge into combat there. Nobody can hit him now. I'm a nifty fucking goblin. I know how to fight. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Don't speak too wow. soon. <laughs> I, know, I know how to avoid getting hit. In, in comes fights. the big boy. In comes wow. the big boy. I'm still a little bit too much, mate. <laughs> it's tempting fate when, when the big boy's yeah. about to come in. Yeah, wait until after the big guy with the mace comes in. Okay, so for his... So the blood acolyte for his um, for his action is going to cast bless. <laughs> oh yeah, he casts it, the dick. <laughs> oh shit! What does this do? Just Higher D4 level or normal it. level? Normal level. Yeah, blessing's really good. <laughs> Your plus lots of free coaches. Oh wow, look at that. It's so cool, isn't it? Like, this is so cool. <clears throat> um, just a side note, Jack Bull, like I, I don't think my um charge thing has gone away. No, it goes away on the start of your next turn. Okay, cool, cool. And having taken some of that poison damage from uh, from Flargo Snarp, now moves out of out of range, or what he believes is out of range. Not for Daka. <clears throat> this blood fanatic, or the, yeah, this blood fanatic is it pulls is still has his daggers out, and he's going for Flargo Snarp. Two attacks at him. So a twenty hits. Four points of damage. Second attack. Oh. 22. Six oh. points of damage. Whoa, Elliot healed that so he knows he's alive. All right, Daka, you're up, my friend. Okay. I shall first of all, Daka will say to little Jimmy, stay 10 yards behind, uh, you know, just within distance of, of Elliot's torch you know like look after yourself is what he'll persuasion. say persuasion persuasion check please Jim. no there's no need no no he's, he, this is old hat to little jimmy <laughs> now right I'm and joking. unless jimmy feels overly threatened jimmy is going to follow any reasonable request from daka mm. what are you doing jim I'm moving up so that i'm you know still protected behind you two but I'm, i need to be able to shoot people don't i 
Uh, should probably kill kill off this guy. Uh, I guess you might kill him first here. He's there on that. I never just... rely on Dimitrio. Dimitrio. Everyone else can kill this guy before he acts. So who are the ones? This one's going to attack first. So we shall shoot this guy. Um, and hopefully I can do it right. Hang on, hang on. Daka, what do you say as you run up? Do you go, do you say, I am the law? <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now he says, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> yeah. now, now we're playing d, d Reckless shot. Boom. Reckless Perfect, it's applied the effect to you. Doesn't Boom. sound great. Let's hope so. Sounds pretty great. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so your reckless God. shot does miss, Jim. If only so now blessed. you need to roll damage, don't you? Just to get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, roll damage yes. to kill the reckless shot, even though it doesn't hit him. Um, well, actually, I'm going to shoot again with a bonus one, right? So. But you can only. Reckless shot only affects that one until your next attack. Yeah. And then I'll just do... So the next one will also be reckless, right? So the next one will exactly... Not only will it take the 5 off, but it'll add 10 to the damage. So that's why you have to roll the damage to negate it. Yeah, but I'll just use the... it again. Like, it's not once a turn, right? I can just choose to do it. Well, so it's another dice, is it? Is it another... Uh... Like, you can just choose to do a reckless shot if you want, yeah, right? Yeah, but does it not cost a... Whatever influential no, dice... No, it costs nothing. No, no, no. You can just do it every single attack. Oh my god, that's OP as hell. It's harder to hit though. Yeah, yes. to hit. yeah, he can do it. Yeah, th that's true. So if you do want to do it again, that's a good point. Thank you. Yeah, so it'll just save save time, and so just uh, actually. So this is your bonus action, correct? Um, yeah. So now the bonus action. Yeah. Um, I want to keep all yep, of my so dice because we might. You know, I want to keep all of my uh, abilities because we might. You might even be able to just roll the attack again off the first attack. Yeah, Can Plago yeah. do that yeah. evade thing again? Like, is that yeah, like a one-time use? Got okay, him. that time you hit, so now roll damage. Got him. A nimble escape is every time the one. 19! 19 <laughs> points of damage. He's got to be dead, right? Boosh. He did nice, not have to be dead. Badly hurt. <laughs> the other one's taken like about 17. He's dead! Seconds. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Get up. Nine. Get out Bless of it, sunshine. that, idiot. Fantastic. Right, that's me done. Beautiful. Little Jimmy. Shot him in the face. Here comes the Slayer. Okay, so little Jimmy... ...kind of tucks himself in right behind here, just like Doc has said to. Good lad. Doesn't think we need help, no, for that. Does it matter? Right, so uh, having witnessed everything that's going on around me, I'm feeling the craze of my frenzy. Uh, the uh, echoes of war are rippling through my mind as I, I uh, realize Plagal Staff is badly injured. I raise my axe with the fury within and with great pain and furious anger <laughs> there we go are we gonna attack? good there are more blood fanatics <laughs> i'm gonna hit the guy in front of me obviously oh that's not good i'm gonna miss the okay, guy so you miss with that strike so he felt the first one right when you charged in second one he was ready for you miss uh, I think we're gonna pop action search. Uh, I think we're gonna go <coughs> action search. Which allows me to take another wipe it in, basically. And we are gonna attack. Oh, Thank that God. one was hovering, Dimmy. Oh, <laughs> was that <laughs> one hovering? I'm sure All right, roll for damage, please. Oh, there's no damage on there. Uh, oh, damage. There we go. Oh, hold on. I've, I've flipped up. So, 
Just ask him for attack before the damage. Just Can roll just... the attack again. Okay, yeah, just roll. Yeah, yeah. Even if it misses, just that'll allow you to roll the damage. You're fine. Just don't waste a 20. Okay. <laughs> damage. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! oh big damage. Nice. He's really dead. And then I think I use the quick toss. I don't know, like... How, how deep are we going into these catacombs? We got all the way. Is he not dead? He's near death. Okay, so what? I'm gonna. He was dead after fourteen. No, sure. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use my Hancock as a bonus action. Hang on. I need to. Do I need to select this as a? Bonus? <laughs> it's like taking. Yeah, you need. To, you need to click quick toss so it uses one of your points. And now roll for the. Uh, roll for the throw. Oh, no. Okay, you need to you need to roll for the attack first there, Dim. So click your Hancock. <laughs> That's the extra dice if you hit, right? Hang on, hang on. And remember, it's a disadvantage because you're next to him. So when you roll attack, click at disadvantage. Oh, got it. Oh, wasted a twenty, but you did hit him. So the Hancock hits him. So now roll for the damage on the Hancock, and I'm going to give you the four points that you rolled on the first quick toss formula. All right, so that's eight points of damage. You're not dead yet. What he's the? Dead, dead. Oh, I need to end the turn. Don't I? End the turn, Dim. End no, you need to. Turn. Um, you need to do your retrieval now, Dim. Oh, yeah, retrieval. remember, uh, and you can move. Right? And you can move. You still got thirty foot. You can movement. now move. Yes, because that guy's dead. Yeah, you oh, can okay. move. You can. You can put your move. You can split your move however you want between all your bonuses and actions and everything. Is it ability check? Yeah, it's ability check. Yes. All right. So you, and then, as soon as that Hancock goes into him, you yank that cord, and it comes right back into your hand. I can move here, <clears throat> and then that ends my turn, right? Oh, uh, can you move there? Yeah, he can move around. Well, it's not, it's you can move like, around. Yeah, he's not disengaging foot. from, and it, he can. It's he could have lopped all the way around it. That's fine. Uh, what I was going to do earlier is just leap over the dead body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe I need to. Uh, maybe I need to be there. Actually, I mean that's a good point. Te little... Technically, yeah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Technically correct. <laughs> yep, I agree. Achoo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead and your turn. Uh, okay, now Flargo, you're up. The blossom in this room is just. Yeah, I'll just keep. <laughs> poison on this asshole. It's the mothers say flowers, that's what it is. Oh dear me. Okay, so read the spell because I think this lasts longer than you don't is, have to cast another this, spell this, to do it. No, it, it lasts as long as the uh the sleep. So one minute. Oh what hang on. I see another geezer. Yeah, I told you there are two more dead cult two more cultists. All I had was like, my die. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's see. So roll for damage again, which was what? A it was three d six. Yeah, and you make a dex saving throw. And then I make the dex saving throw. Yeah. See, this is the stuff that I have to program in, so you can just simply click a button. Not a dead horse. No, wait, three d eight. Is it? Three d six. Oh, that doesn't count as a spell, so you could use your bonus action. Oh, well. is that above average? No, that is perfectly it's, average. Isn't yeah, it? can't technically below. Okay, like so he fails, so that's ten oh, that points of damage. That one's one ahead of average. No, it's technically it's half two. below. Ten and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? It's technically a half below, but obviously you can't roll average because you can only roll a 10 or an 11. I don't, just give him the win, guys. Come on. So that's your action? <laughs> what, um, any bonus action or anything? Uh, yeah, I'll disengage. Yeah, move to the numb. <laughs> okay, so you can't... You, okay, so you can move through. So you went over the dead body, which is fine. All right, end turn, please. No, oh, hold on, I got mucus.
All right, this one's going to swing at Dimmy with his scimitar, knowing he's near death. And misses. Elliot, you are up, sir. Champ. Hmm. Can we walk over the bodies? You said we can. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine with that. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll. I'll cast. Uh. Cure wounds this time on Dale since I'm adjacent to him and I can touch him. I Ooh. reach out and this yeah, time make, I grasp. Sorry. Go ahead. And make sure to target him. Yeah, yeah. I. I, I grasp his shoulder because I can actually reach his shoulder. And the you know the healing power flows down my arm, and once more he he feels invigorated. I am all that is man. Did you say you're overaged, man? Is that what you said? No, I am all that is man. All right, so you're healed for nine points of damage. And um, I, I move up slightly, uh, but otherwise I think. Do you not attack the one that's near death? No, I, I, that was that was my action. Q wounds is my action, so I, I have I have nothing to do with my bonus action. You could you could you could um you well I mean I don't know am I allowed to meta game? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, your bonus action you've just taken telekinesis. No, you, yeah you have haven't you? You've taken telekinesis yeah. as you as you. Oh, is feet. push people a bonus action? Mm, trying to push ah. people five foot is a bonus action. Ah, how do I... And the range of it is 60 yards, I think. Uh... So, you're, so you're now telekinetic, so this will be something new for the party as well to see. Mm. Um, I don't really know who to push, to be honest. <laughs> well, uh, my understanding of it well. would be... <laughs> If you were to push the guy who's near death and in combat with Dimmy, if you were to push him five foot away, Dimmy would get an attack of opportunity. Uh, no, it no, does he does not, not because it's 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 um, he's being forced to move. Yeah. Diced, diced. <laughs> well, that's a shame. It was a really good idea, though, wasn't it? <laughs> can I? Can I? It's, push? it's not. It's not a tackle rule. Uh, it was a great <laughs> idea. For a moron. Wow. Mm. Wow. I don't think it's a moron I mean, in, thing, character, in character. Okay, <laughs> wow. I cast telekinesis. Well, I don't cast it. I mm, I geez. I focus my mind on Dmitriov, and and try to push him with my mind. Okay. So do I have to roll for so that? So Dmitriov, you can elect to. It's usually a strength <laughs> save. If you want to save, you can elect to fail it, and just if he, and he's allowed to tell you what he's doing with this. Yeah, you can okay. just elect to fail it and and allow it to happen if you want. Oh, I think you I can will. only push in a in a straight direction from where you stand. Like you can choose, you can't choose which direction you want to put it. Oh, really? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I I remember reading that about some spell, but I can't be sure which one it was. Yeah. Push me towards. It's, it's the five guy feet with... toward or away from uh, you. Ah, uh, I I wanted to push him towards the wall. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Like, well, push, a, you can push nice me towards game. you, which is equally good. But... And you still got your movement, haven't you? You still got your movement. Oh yeah, yeah. But I don't want to. I don't want to poke my head out too far. But, but you can uh, move, uh, do it, and then move back, right? I'm, I'm not that fast, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to push legs. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to end turn. Yeah, it's just something four, to yeah, think yeah. about anyway. That you've always got that as a bonus. Yeah, action. yeah. Okay, I didn't realize it was a bonus action. That that's good to know. Yeah. Okay, so Blood Cultist shall now swing at Dim. Let's hope my rolls hang up here. 15, Dim? No, it's 16. All right, so just misses you. <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> you made you Matrix backwards. Oh, this guy is the main E, isn't he? Barely injured. Big boy. I 
Shackpool gone. We lost Shackpool. No, I'm just thinking about what spells to cast here, boys. <laughs> He's tinking. Oh god. Oh, this this is a good sign for us, lads. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so he's gonna move in behind um, behind this cult or behind this cultist here, and he's gonna cast cure wounds on him. Jeff. Mm. On Jeff. That one's called Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh, uh, that's why I thought the telekinesis would be good if it had worked, right? To try and get him killed before he gets healed, because I thought he'd get healed. Uh, scumbag, scumbag spellcasters. And then moves back with five more feet to finish his moves. That was some poor healing. Do, what a noob. Do you remember, like, Jack was saying something about it? I'm not going to metagame you guys. Well, that was How the hell are we no metagaming? We and met. Then, it's, we then, met. then it's just doing everything he can to avoid getting Dragon's Breath. <laughs> well, that's what oh my God. Here he we do. Go. Well, he's, he's seen the Dragon's Breath, yeah. dude. What do you think? Yeah. So if you see the guy with a machine gun firing around the corner, <laughs> you're going to go in front of his line of fire? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's reasonable. I have to. Right. Yeah, to be he's fair, he's not like he's not like a Darth robot. Oh my god, there's oh my another, god, there's one. another one. Oh my god. He is going to cast <laughs> Bless. <laughs> Look at these proper But but where where are they in the combat tracker? Yeah, he's uh, not in. You should be able to see him. Not in uh, the oh, there oh, we go. No, no, we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I had oh, them God. hidden stills from your oh. view. I apologize. Oh, so if I have them hidden, they didn't show on the combat tracker for you guys? No. Oh, that's brilliant. See, learn something new every day. <laughs> you did. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's uninjured as well. Holy shit. Can he, he can bless himself, Four. can't he, if he wanted. Yeah, he could, but he's he's thinking about his boys first. Mm. He's very Lovely selfless, uh, mm. uh, uh, Goldist. Huh? It's Lovely almost fun. like he's... Uh, fatal. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh my god, there's another one! Yeah, there's millions of them. Oh Alright, Doc, god. you're up. All right. It's like you never <laughs> listen to oh, One sec, one sec, Doc, I'm sorry. He's going to use his sprint action and get right on um, Dimitrov as well. Oh, he wants to die. Today is a good day. <laughs> All right, Daka, you're up, sir. Right. Can I can I see this guy? Um, like you have world with me. <laughs> okay, so technically speaking, this would be an attack of. Uh, it would be a disadvantage because this is considered cover because he's on the far side of all these guys, Perfect. and you're trying to shoot through four different guys. But I have sharpshooter, so I ignore cover. Yes. That's exactly right. So that's what I'm saying. Ooh. So technically speaking, this would be it should covered. Be. But... Yeah, yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glorious. But at least I can see him. That's the important thing. Like, if I couldn't see him, I'd move around to be able oh, to you, see him. You have, you have total view of him. Right. But, it, okay. but if you roll a one, will you hit Dimitriov? <laughs> that's a possibility, yes. Yeah, I imagine that's I'll take what... those odds. I'll take those odds. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could, I could like, go out of here first, right? I could go out of here first. But then, uh, you know, Wait, that's not safe. fair. That's, That's not a very daiquiri thing to do, is it? I'd rather the nom and the uh, goblin get hit before <laughs> so it's, I it's do. So not, it's not safe to <laughs> to move out where you won't hit somebody. It's it's more daiquiri to blow through somebody's back with your crossbows. Yeah. Oh, you no, actually, no, I can move forward and move back, right? I've got, yeah, so yes, I can just absolutely move 10. You can. I can move 10, then shoot completely unobstructed. Yeah, and, and they would, and now you're now you're totally wide open. Yeah, but I can move now back. Now you can recklessly shoot. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to recklessly shoot, of course. <laughs> Jimmy or Rick? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Pew! Does that hit? All right, so you miss. Oh, bless would have been good, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. oh, <laughs> drop, drop it, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so I don't know why I thought I'd say that. Um, we'll have another crack at him as well with a bonus action. Pew, pew! Oh. Yep, it's got the minus five on. Where's the... Oh. Got okay, him. that one does hit, so roll the damage. Got him. Seventeen points. Holy! Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm, reckless. Yeah, reckless is pretty good. Mm, and, uh... like, if you hit the fuckers. 
Well, that, that's the thing, right? So you missed with the first hit with the second, so you essentially did this, the basic, the same damage you probably would have done with just two shots, right? Yeah, oh, a little this, bit more, is, yeah. this is still more. Yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah. straight plus 10 is so fucking strong. Yeah, plus 10 is pretty friggin' OP, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's nice. I mean, Daka is, I mean, again, I, I love the way that he's developing and he's playing him because he's, you know, he's got a, a, a specific method to his madness, and that's what <laughs> makes his character fun. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, that's me done. That's little dim little Jimmy done. I guess he's quite good. Hi Whoa, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> little Jimmy! That, that it was it was. You said the thing, the torch. It was dark back there. <laughs> What's going on up here? Holy shit! Look at all these guys. <laughs> hit, hit the big one with your sling, little Jimmy. <laughs> you want to have a crack at one of them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one uses his dash action to get involved in the combat. And Dimitriov, you're up. Oh, round right, swing, so, round uh, swing. Quick question, quick rules lawyer question. I'm going to use sweeping Ooh. attack. Okay. So do I roll to hit first and then automatically hit the second guy? Or do I roll two separate attacks? Uh, okay, so, so this is the first time you've used it. So when you hit a creature with... Okay, so when you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, so you hit and then expend sweeping attack. So, okay, you, there, so you get a choice I, there. So I want to attack the badly injured. You can expend one superiority die and attempt to damage another creature with the same attack. Choose another creature within five feet of the original target and within your reach. If the original attack roll would have hit the second creature, it takes equal to the number on your roll, equal to the number you roll on the superiority die. So, so, so I what attack. happens is, is let's pretend they don't have the same air AC, right? One's got a 14 and one's got an 18. Yeah. If you rolled a 16 and you don't know he's got an 18, you expend the superiority die, but you would have missed the second one because you don't know. All right. So uh, I if attack. it would have hit him, you only roll the damage on the superiority die. It does not take the original damage from the weapon strike. So do I roll to attack? And then when I know I've hit, then use... Exactly. That way you don't have to okay. waste the superiority die unless you make the first strike. Okay, so I want to hit this guy first. Uh, so inventory, great axe. Attack. I'm going to roll a natural 20. No. Nope. Um, you did hit him. Okay. If I so hit roll him... roll damage first. Well, before I do the other thing, right? Yeah. Yes. Roll for okay. damage. So we know what, what happens to this guy first. Okay. That's good. And then I wanna I wanna use I, 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 I think I you. I wanna use the uh where is it? Uh sweeping attack, usability. Oh, do I have to target one of them? No, you're okay. Hold on one second. So which one, ping which one you're hitting. Oh, you've already I... got him targeted. Perfect. And that roll would have hit him. Your same attack roll hits him. So now you click the other formula on the sweeping attack. Oh. And you do two points of damage to him. That's shit. Um, and yeah. then as a bonus action, I'm going to use Quick Toss. On the same guy, I guess. At a disadvantage. Correct. Oh, hang on. It wouldn't let me choose disadvantage. So let me roll that again, yeah? And then we... Yeah, pick... well, remember, you have to click You have to click the Hancock. So it gives you the, the attack roll. All right. Okay. So we just disregard that eight, yeah? Cause... Disregard the eight, yes. Okay. So, and then what do I roll? Attack at disadvantage. Oh, All shit. Right, so you... Oh, shit. Yep. Okay, so um, so again, the, the your Hancock, as you, you, he's so close to you, right, that um, as you try to whip this Hancock out, now luckily there's nothing behind them here, but your Hancock flies back down the cavern, the rope snaps again on a one, and it's sitting right back here at this crossroads if you decide to get it during combat. Yeah, we're not worried about that. And then I end my turn, right? Please. Please. Flargo Snarp, you're up, brother. All right, so in order to hit two guys, if I move into here, 
I can hit these two, uh, but not Demi, right? No, yeah, no, we can no. Ang so I this is yes. Me. So again, this is part of that meta game, right? Yeah. All right, Jim's gonna finish these boys off. So, so that would be your 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 striking area right there. Yeah, yeah, good. Lovely. So then I stand here and I do the dragon's breath. All right, give me a three d six, please, and it's a dexterity roll, correct? Yeah. Would have been amazing if I'd been blessed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dickheads. Oh look, I rolled below average. <laughs> so eight, eight points of damage. <laughs> I have not yet rolled a dice above average today. All right, so he takes four. And he takes eight. Elliot All right. Up. No, I disengage and move uh, back here. Ah, he's learning the goblin game, boys. <laughs> All right, go ahead and end your turn, and then Elliot, you're up, sir. All right, then. We're not looking too bad. Uh, Dimitrov, despite being surrounded by cultists, has uh, yet to take a hit. Flagglestaff is mostly healed. Hmm. Oh, what was that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Is this the blood leech on its way? <laughs> okay, so I decide to switch to all-out aggression. And I cast... Oh, right, alien. <laughs> and I cast... Ooh, actually, which one? Maybe... Oh, no, maybe this one. I cast Sacred Flame on the, the far... On the far... On the on the acolyte on the right side. Achoo! <laughs> What? <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That Achoo. might do more damage. Jesus Christ! No, <laughs> 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 oh, uh, he was going for all out aggression. Come but, on! But I, but I, but I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's literally way better. But yeah, do what you want. I've been waiting to use all of my abilities, waiting to be blessed. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, I don't want to use my abilities when I'm not blessed. <laughs> and okay, so I'm just you, not you, have the, you have the Acolyte targeted, is that correct? <laughs> I do, I do, yeah. Okay, perfect, just making sure. And that is a DC 13 dex? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so he takes six points of damage. And eight. And as my bonus action, I cast Spiritual Weapon. Nice. Ching, 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 ching. Wait, what happened? Where did he go? Give me a ping where you want it. There. <laughs> Can it swing at two guys at the same turn? Sister? No. Just, just the <laughs> one. There, there, there's your rules lawyer, right? There's your <laughs> metagamer. Can it swing at everybody? <laughs> And it's a floppy disk. Who was he hitting? The, the, the Acolyte again. Okay, perfect, thank you. Give me the damage. Hmm. And uh, I'll stay put and end my turn. All right, so this Blood Cultist is going to swing at Dim. Or six points of damage. This blood acolyte, let's see, he is out of spells as far as first level. He's going to move in here and he's going to swing his club at Dim. Eighteen that hits right, Dim. Yeah, sixteen is the same. For four damage, I'm sorry, two damage. Four damage, two damage. Oh wow, that that club looked a lot meatier than a D four, didn't it? 
<laughs> well, it's also who carries it. So remember, like strength bonuses, so on and so forth. He's a, he's a shower, not a grower. <laughs> yeah. Shrunk up when he got close to Tim. <laughs> As you do. Look at all these blessed guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he is going to. Okay, he does. So there's no attack of opportunity if he moves out of this range here. He knows he's near death, and he's he's a freaking he's a he's an asshole. <laughs> so he's gonna move over here. And he's gonna cast sacred flame on um, on Dato. These fucking golden haters. I'm gonna lick your blood when you're dead. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, it's a DC 12 <laughs> dexterity check, a saving throw, I should say. I'm gonna piss on your graves. <laughs> Oh, how come my sacred flame didn't do that? Yeah, diced. <laughs> what was my save throw? Uh, DC 12 dexterity. So hit dexterity, hit DEX, and then it'll say um, saving. If you roll a 12 or higher, you take half damage. All right, so you take six points of damage. Holy fucking shit. These <laughs> garbage ass. Pitiful fucking dice rolls. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> one day, one day, Diddle will roll over a ten, but not today. <laughs> but not today. Not a single <laughs> dice roll above average all day long. <laughs> okay, this blood fanatic really. here is going to. He's going to cast spiritual weapon. What, the fanatic? Yep. What? What? Oh, the second acolyte. No, the, no, the fanatic. The fanatic. Oh, my God. The fanatic has this spell. Oh, my God. What an asshole. <laughs> They've leveled up. How many of them are there? Like, honestly, like, there's... Okay, let me see if Five. there's a uh, because I'm trying I'm They're trying to find one that's different than Elliot's, but I might have to use <laughs> I might have to use the same one as Elliot. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Elliot, I'm sorry, I'm using the same one as you, brother. No, <laughs> this won't get you take away your ability to control it. And it's going to swing at Dimmy. Cultist spells have so much better effects than mine. <laughs> uh, for eight, eight points of damage, Dim. <laughs> Giant Bull just rolls better than us. <laughs> and, and and that was the the fanatic's bonus attack, uh, bonus action, was it? Yes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I? Can I? At that point, can I parry? You definitely may. Uh, so we're gonna parry. Oh. So... Okay, now wait. So you so so you reduce the damage by ten. So you take no damage. Yeah, so I'm back to forty. Look at look at uh, Dmitriov there, man. <laughs> what a badass! Taking on five guys at once. <laughs> I've had more, Jim. I've had more. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> All right, so for his regular action, and it's not safe for work. 
Uh, okay, so Daka, you're up. Yeah, because but... since he's since he's used that, okay, yeah, Daka, you're up. Glorious, right. Obviously, we shall shoot this near-death guy. We'll not do the reckless attack. We will do a very precise shot to take that him out. A very precise, beautiful attack. Put him out of the game. Oh, good job it was 18 as well. hits. Whew. Boom. Seven damage. Please kill him. He falls over dead. Oh, glorious. And then uh, we shall move up to about here. Behind, <laughs> behind, behind the goblin. Behind the goblin. <laughs> and, uh, behind, his, behind his cover. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We've got the cover. Um, we'll shoot at the guy who cast the... Uh, presumably, if I kill the guy who cast the um, spiritual weapon, it will go, right? If you interrupt his concentration, right? Oh, yeah, interrupt the concentration. No, no, it's not concentration. It's not concentration. Oh, shit, no. But if I kill him, it will end, right? In master? Jack I don't Bo know, will it? Well, I mean, will it? It's a spell, isn't it? <laughs> he's commanding it. He's he's using the bonus action, yeah. So, yeah, it, 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 even if go. it's not yeah. dispelled. You know that he's got to use a bonus action, so yes. Yeah. Right, so we'll, re we'll reckless attack this guy and hopefully kill him with a bonus action. Boom. I feel a little bit uncomfortable with Demi, er, uh, Jimmy Oof. standing right behind me and Perfect. saying he's going to recklessly shoot. <laughs> it's okay, okay. <laughs> you're short. You're short, <laughs> it's roll, fine. roll for damage. <laughs> Boosh, 18. Um, do you know what? I, do you know what I'll do uh, before you before you react to that Jack Bull? I will use a superiority dice to. Uh, God, make... Are you going to trip him again? <laughs> I'm gonna, I shall make that a tripping attack. Um, yep. Boom. Another seven, so 25 damage to that Hold on one sec, I'll attempt to knock you. Add the spirit die to the attack's damage roll. Perfect, so plus seven. Yep, so hopefully so, he's just um, dead. You, not only do you trip him, but you trip him into death. Glorious. Can he trip into his own spiritual weapon? <laughs> yeah, that's how he dies. <laughs> that's how he dies. <laughs> he falls backwards and his spiritual weapon uh, just <laughs> impales him from behind. Glorious. I laugh hysterically as I see the <laughs> comic relief death. <laughs> also, out out of character, I gotta go real soon for the um, oh, a shit. oh, that's right, you've got um, you've got purple chest tonight. I forgot oh, about I that. Have, I have. Are we have yes, to stop well, you guys will relentlessly attack Blood Bowl three again. Can we stop this mid combat? Does that work with the program? Yeah, absolutely, it does. All let's right. um, let's finish off. What time do you have to be there, Elliot? Well, nine latest, but ideally. Yeah, before. I don't know what time that is. Oh, but like uh, 17 minutes latest. But I, okay, I, so 17 I, minutes. Yeah, so why don't we finish off this round and then we can call it there for uh, for next time. Cool, sounds good. Mm. Yeah. Bam, one more one blood bowl. Ban one world one blood bowl. <laughs> yeah. Damn, damn, one more Oh, world. damn. damn. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah, thing. sorry, a bit awkward. Yeah. You're on it every week. I know, well. I know. Like, <laughs> <you're> like... <laughs> All right, You're so little Jimmy the just host. <laughs> you should be the host. <laughs> oh, I said he's basically the host. Oh, I thought... <laughs> PC knows he's got no content, that's what it is. Okay, he just, wow. he just wants someone to mock every week. <laughs> okay, so this Blood Cultist is going to swing at Dimmy again. Damn, Lord. I, I want to hit back. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, it's because I got the wrong guy targeted. One sec. <laughs> Elliot, you've gone absolutely, you've sunk into your seat. We only see the top of your head now. <laughs> He's hiding in combat. <laughs> I want three foot three, go on. Amazing. Uh, and 11 misses, right, Dim? Yeah, yeah, 11 does, yeah. Not even close. Not even close. 11 would miss <laughs> little Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> even with the bless. All right, so Ima that's his imagine action. Be imagine being blessed, guys. Imagine. <laughs> imagine being blessed. All right, so we will hold over uh, due to one world, one blood bowl. 
<laughs> yeah, we need to sort it out because uh, I'm not going to be around next weekend. Uh, yeah, yeah, next week I send you guys out the uh, text or the text, the message already asking. Um, Jimmy's the only one who's responded. I'll resend it again. I mean, I'm ready whenever you guys can. Like, All right, Thursday, so we'll, we'll Thursday night, ahead. isn't it? Do you do the um, 40k thing Thursday, like the? Mm. Yeah, th th uh, Thursday's um, Dark Tide. Yeah, so after that, like I finish work at eight. So if you can do it, I'm I'll I'm it, open. So. It's totally daily. That's a that's earlier for me. So I'm fine with that. I no, I I can't do next Thursday. Okay, I'm gonna do Wednesday. Actually, like, I might go like. Dark Tide next Thursday. Yeah, I'll have to message in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah just message. Well, maybe Say Wednesday. Again, I I don't think I'll be able to do Dark Tide either. I'm gonna. Oh, I'll, okay, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll message in mod chat. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. And then so um, what about Wednesday then, Elliot? Uh, can't do Wednesday. <laughs> Can't do Wednesday. It's okay. or no, 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 it's all right. <laughs> well, Tuesday. I can do Tuesday. Tuesday. But it's very soon. It's very soon. It's well, very it makes soon. But, but that's it's, good because we're in the middle yeah, of the combat. Ex exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I can. I can do Tuesday as well. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will. I will message out to everybody for Tuesday. We'll get a start time arranged, and we'll rock and roll, boys. Cool. Glorious. Cheers. Let's let's wrap up the YouTube anyway. Thanks for watching, well, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like <laughs> and subscribe, and stay fantastic.